Okay, you can turn on the run speed. That's into what? what? What is this? <laughs> Wait a minute. I don't, I don't like where this is going. Oh, 30%. All right. Oh, we'll see what that's about. Oh, holy. <laughs> holy hell. All right, that's that's interesting. Hello there, here, and we are back with the Coffin of Andy and Lily, Episode 2, Graves. I'm not really sure what does that mean, hmm, which is interesting. Among Us? <laughs> uh, I hate how I automatically lock eyes into the thing and was like, what? Let's see, what kind of details we can get around here? So there's a person there, interesting. Costumes, eat food. I don't know how you get money, probably, well, from stuff. It, it's kind of easy, I'm not gonna lie. We want to get some small amount of money uh let's see what else is there nope you're not eating flesh which is cool you are finishing up what's left of your lunch have i introduced myself again i forgot well let me try it hello there here and today we are going to i think i already have right yeah yeah that's why it's kind of feel weird to do it again maybe i don't okay i don't know let's just play the game shall we you are finishing up what's left of your lunch the consequences of your actions have they had to catch up with you, which is nice. Perfect. Amazing. There's nothing interesting in that paper, right? I'm not done reading. It's been a week, thoughts that there are, there's something now are non-existent. Just let me check. Uh, I'm bored. Woohoo. How much longer can we stay here anyway? We're almost out of money. <laughs> what, what are you doing? Technically, I have money. I, I just can use it without giving away where I am to the bank. So, no money then. And I don't get why they went to check my ID for every fucking thing. Uh, well, it's kind of obvious, right? Like, goddamn, I just wanted to stay at a hotel. Why, why do you need to know who I am? I'm paying up front, aren't I? So it's not like a bailout on them. Woohoo, the model is just fine too. It's really not. I swear I heard gunshots last night. <laughs> or was it just you? Yeah, probably you see, right? I haven't shot anything. Yet. Yet. Cool. Ah. W what? I think I left my gun back in the room. I really wish you'd be less nonchalant about everything all the time. Do we still have, still have all our items? Hmm? Hey now, we can both be constantly shitting ourselves over every little thing, hmm? Uh, yeah, okay. True, let's just get back into the model before someone breaks in and steal the damn thing. I love how you are also still so nonchalant about all of this, despite, you know, all the things that... Uh, this is the fast. <laughs> this is... <laughs> despite all the things that you did, which is... Wow, I cannot believe this happened to us and... Mm hmm Yeah. <laughs> What? I cannot even touch the fucking door, help. Give me a moment. Alright, that should do it. Is it? No, that's a little bit too fast to me. Oh yeah, perfect, let's go. What? Okay. How are the plants obsessed among cigarette butts? No! How the plants? How could it? Uh, I think that will advance the game. There's a bunch of car girl, car girl ads stuck to the wall. Oh my, maybe I should leave my number here, hmm. Absolutely not. What? We need cash, and it will be tax free to boot. It's actually not, I think. I'm pretty sure it's not. If you get a lot of money, actually. Send an alert and I'll backhand you. Whoa, damn. Sheesh. Learn to take a joke, jackass. Learn to make a joke, dumbass, damn. You're so out there that I can tell whether you're being serious or not. I honestly don't know. Like, I'm obviously, obviously not being serious. We don't even have a phone on a phone right now. And and would you honest to God back at me just like that? Hmm. Well, not right here anyway. Wow. Okay, wife beater. Dude, what is happening? Oh, don't say that. It's only toward you, honestly. What? G. Gee, th thanks? How is that better? Yeah, see, this is just... <laughs> what was, what, what's wrong with these people? You, you play this game and just like stare at them and I was like, what? You play this game and just stare at them and be like, what? What is wrong with these people? 
the net for a coffee shop. It is difficult to imagine the aroma of warm cup of coffee with trash rotting right next to you. Yummy, delicious. How about you warm up like the trash? Maybe it will make the coffee taste better and the trash taste better. I don't know if that will work. Huh. Huh? Oh. Huh. Oh. Huh. Costumes. Trash? Trash? No? Uh, boo, no, no thanks. That looks... No! And then you got run over by a car. No, just kidding. Get off the road, stupid. All right. <laughs> wow, that's unbelievable. Are you looking for something specific? Nah, just window shopping. Oh, in case, may I trust you in leaving me the fuck alone? The server here is better than usual. I... <laughs> I guess. Back out from there. Uh, where are we supposed to go? Going? I feel like it's the right side, but at the same time, we could explore the... Left side here. Which is what I'm interested about. What's with the design? People like Krill have been going here. 666, mixed ways. It's a cult location? There's a gun that seems to double as smoking area. There's a keypad there, so it's locked. Unemployment office, one blank, minus one clip. 6 FU? Oh, oh, the. The. What do you call it? The. Uh, floor. Floor number, yes. How do I forget floor? Staff only says and it's not. Well, yes, you're not staff, which is interesting. So, how far does this cult thing go? Hmm, I'm interested. Let's see. I love the color difference there. Health. Dun -dun. Honestly, I, I I wouldn't mind like a, a dark, greedy RPG just like this. You know, like an RPG fighting game where you can buy items and sell items like this. The vending machine offers all kind of enticing possibilities to waste your money on. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. No? Oh, sad. I want some of my treats. This isn't the room you're staying at. And thank God for that, a putrid stench wet from within. What putrid stench? Oh God, no. <laughs> Are you tired of bringing in? Of course, that. Ask your doctor if he uses the nice is right for you. Kill yourself? No. Stop doing that. There are three new and exciting flavor limited flavors, limited time only. You try them now or miss out forever. Ooh, caramelized apple and cinnamon. I want to try that. We can't afford any nonsense right now. Ah, oh, come on, it's just a couple bucks. You can have that or you can have dinner, it's up to you. Ah, oh, this suck. It's the middle of time too. I mean, you can have that, but you already have food, so... You know, you don't. You can skip dinner. Who am I to actually give this advice, actually? Uh, you know, it's just, uh... Dawn. You told me it's my own choice whether I want dinner or soda. <laughs> well, I lied. Fuck your soda. <laughs> wait. Oh, wait, are we actually trying to grab soda there? That's stupid. Up yours, Andrew. What do I even put up with you for? I ask myself that every day. Anyway, we're not messing money on this, and that's final. Are you sure? It's too pricey, no? Soda. Little treats. Crying. Party is this way, but there's nothing interesting there at this hour. Alright then. Up, 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 up. So, nothing else? Huh, that's a door. Anyway, let me check inventory. Items, batteries. We still have the batteries. Demon trinket. Interesting. Actually, yeah, I want I want some treats. Don't don't hate me for this, but I kinda want to order some mm, tasty drink. Luinki. Let's see. We go here then. Oh yeah. How do you immediately sit on the fucking desk? Alright then. It's a paper from a few days ago, there's nothing worthwhile, worthwhile written on it. The paper is an infant comfortable enough to wipe your ass with. All in all, a total waste of money. Oh damn. Oh, laundry? And it has been hoarding this paper ever since you arrived. There's no pillow. Leave it and you insist on getting a room with two separate beds. Only to then have a panic attack every other night, haha. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Because it's empty, except for... Reclaim your gun. So it's nearly yours anyway, but whatever, the warden's gun is your now. yours now. Do we really need to debate about that? Talk about that? Discuss about that? 
There's an article about a chemical leak in some city you've never been to. There you go, detail instruction for people in the area to stay home and install their windows. So it's a bigger thing. As my worker will be sent to rescue people block by block. I suspect it's related to the cult, honestly. Hey, you! Aren't you tired of drinking the same old water every day? Yes, the whole company... There's a bigger scheme going around with the whole uh, water company thing, the 666 thing, I assume. And uh, obviously, the what do you call it? The people lockdown. Aren't you tired of drinking the same old water every day? Yeah, yeah, I do, I do. Yeah, it's so wet. Ew, why is water wet? Have you tried Toxy Soda? Toxy Soda? Ooh -hoo. It's water, but worse! <laughs> how, is, how is that better? I mean, I guess. Uh, yes, uh, tell me. Uh, make, make me want to consume it. Now in three new flavors! Oval! Gross! And nasty! Try them today! Mmm! Toxy Soda! Tastes like life! I don't know why I'm drinking this. <laughs> Uh, amazing game. Uh, BRB, uh, BRB, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be right back. Alright, I'm back, let's do it. An endless slew of ads are playing. Alright then. Hey, get your fat ass out of the way! Ass? I think you mean my awesome fat tits, you cocksucker! Move, you cow! Whatever, wanker. <laughs> what? Not now, I'm trying to catch the news. There isn't going to be anything about us in there, no matter how many times you check, hmm. Whatever, did you find a gun yet? Also pack your things, we have to leave in the morning. Okay. <laughs> Alas, I cannot watch the news off, off of your fat tits. Would you mind getting out of the way, dear sister mine? I am not fat! How could I be after starving for so long? No, you're right. But you're also in the way. In case you don't know, there's... This thing called fat distribution, so yes, you can still be fat in some areas, I guess. Which, like, explain why some people have bigger thighs and bigger chests, obviously. Apologize! And smaller waist or bigger waist, like, you know, fat distribution. I'm sorry that you can't understand I'm trying to watch TV. You're so lucky I love you too, too much you should. I appreciate it. And I will appreciate you too, if you move a little to the left. You're, su you're supposed to say you love me too. I do, no fuck off. And pretends not to see you. Are your fat dudes? Are you shaking? Whoa. Are we evil? Yes, we are. I suppose I shall throw this in the washer while I still can. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, oh, yes, 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 my brain is happy now. My brain is very happy. Yeah, what is this? You try to land in the washer. What's this? No, 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 no. Are we just gonna wait? Okay then. No, no, no. Can I talk to you now? Can I interact with you now? Yes, we can. Oh, whoop. You know what? It, it's a little... Oh, not that. It's a little slow. I forget that there's control for fast forward dialogue, actually. That's interesting to know. Maybe not for now. Uh, what was that on TV? It was you. Hold on. You're welcome. Great, thanks. I really am such a sweetheart. You're so damn lucky to have me, hmm? Yeah, yeah. I cook and clean, and I'm fierce on the ice. Meanwhile, what do you do? Watch TV all day like a slob. Knock it off. You're going to be in the news, Andy. Hmm. <laughs> I should have known. Uh, what are you going to do about it, Andy? Can I check me out again? Are you? Are you? Do you want me to? Oh, come on, I'm kidding. It's all good in good fun. I think we were fine. We are, I'm just messing around. It's just a nickname. Get over yourself. Get over yourself. What, what's wrong with Andy and Lily, honestly? It's the one thing I ask you. I ask of you. And it's symbolic, dumbass. 
you and your romanticism. Shove it up your ass. I don't know what I was expecting. But nothing, honestly. You cannot expect anything in this world. In this... I mean, not, not in this real world. But I guess you could a little. In this game world. In this gritty, dark... It's a gritty, good word for it. I don't know. In this dark world of uh, Andy and Lily. Listen, I'm behaving. What more do you want? I I'm being so good for you. Are you? Because I'm getting the opposite impression here. Yeah, yeah, you think I'm so awful, huh? You wanna see what it's like when I actually misbehave? I could be so much worse. Should I show you just how awful I really am? Go for it. Go for it then. So you're going to find me at a lot less accommodating than Andy. And now to some less important news. One of the quarantine apartments ha has had a bit of a situation. One of the quarantine apartments has had a bit of a situation. Nothing matter, just a fire that burned the whole place down. Everybody died. Yes, everybody. Oh. Our representative of the water company is here with us today. Is there anything you'd like to add? So you rather just erase the whole evidence? Yes. My deepest condolences to the family member of the deceased. This apartment was most definitely not a wholly mismanaged mess, better be burned to the ground. Therefore, it is so sad that this happened. To ease that sadness, we recommend you try out our Toxic Soda. We just rolled out three new and exciting flavor. Excuse me, excuse me sir, something uh, seems to be going wrong with your microphone. I'm sure you mean to say you're to drink our trusty bubbly pop. <laughs> What? Bubbly Pubbly, which happens to be our sponsor. Oh no. Oh no. The the girlies are fighting. The capitalism corporates are fighting. And it doesn't even make your organs bleed out of your ass, unlike some alternatives. Anyway, that's all was all for now. Tune in again later for more wholesome news to cheer you up cheer, cheer up your day. That was our apartment, wasn't it? Was being the correct ten tense indeed. Did I leave the oven on? It said everybody died. Oh, that's great, isn't it? Uh, but whoa. They must think we died too, and all the evidence of our escapades, let's say, has been incinerated. No, that's not how it works. I wonder about that. Eh, yeah, I told you it all work out. Let's leave us homeless and just about penniless. Whatever, things are clearly going to sort themselves out. I'm gonna get some sleep. Good night. I'm gonna stay up a bit longer. Maybe the late new night news will have more information on the fire. Sit yourself. Will it though? Good night. <laughs> Music is banger. Holy shit. Yeah. Nothing else. That's the sleeping compartment, right? No? Alright then. Where's the windows open? Let's. As usual, you fall asleep without care in the world. Me, 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 it's not a Kong shoe. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Someone has entered the room. What? Did you just inject us with something? Or the. Did you just put something on our. Fascinating. We are dealing with something deeper here, isn't it? Pew 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 pew! Or maybe it's bang bang! Let's go then. Dun 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 dun. Listen here, you. Against your better judgment, you think Andrew is all that, so you're not leaving without him. Okay then. Oh. Boop. Wake up! We, we, we've got to go! Uh, um? Get up! I had a vision! We're about to get killed. We've got to go now. Oh, our throat was slated. Okay, are we? Wait, give me one. I'm, I'm, I'm going to scratch my... Sorry, I was just scratching my head a bit. And I was wearing my headphones, which is obviously not hard to do. Yeah, this is the most important thing to do for now. Let's see. Oh, huh? nothing. What are we doing? Can we just fall asleep? Is that an option? No? 
Dun 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 dun. It's a pricey R? R? This way? Oh, I don't want to advance yet. So I wanna stay here and see if the killer actually shows up. And what did I do to deserve to get murdered in my sleep for anyway? Might be, but it was kissing here, you don't know which direction they came from, right? Assuming anyone shows up anyway. They will, I'm sure. And so you stand there and wait. And wait. And wait. Who's smoking? And you light up his fourth cigarette. Another one, way to blow money. Blow it your blow it out your ass, I'm born in the cold. You're probably cold because that crap messes with your blood circulation. Okay, mom. Makes your makes you important too, by the way. It didn't sound like I'd be meeting any girl anytime soon anyway. What's stopping you? I wonder what. <laughs> uh, Earth, I said enough. Why do you? I thought we were hiding. Poultice. Do -do 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 -do. Lucky for you, it wasn't the guy who you're expecting to come slit your throat. Oh, he sure looked familiar anyway. Didn't we eat that guy? The drone said that out loud. Oh, sorry, didn't we chop that guy up and store him in our freezer? Ashley, come on! Hey, seriously though, I guess there's more where he came from. Where do you suppose he was off to? Why, a second drug, sex and drug party with demons, duh? Why are you asking me? Whatever, should we follow him? But I'm to see if my vision come true or not. It's not like we both have to be here. You don't want to stand here alone in the middle of the night, but you're also curious about what the cultist lookalike is up to. A uh, fine ego. But come back soon. You are Andrew. Oh! Wait, okay, okay. I think we are going to do a player switch. That will be an interesting case. Uh, save here for now, and then load the previous save file, because I'm just, like, curious about... Oh, we can also... Oh, F automatically skips it. That's amazing, actually. Because we already have Alexander the Rain. No, we cannot do anything here. So, a uh, waste of time. Moving on. Go back to the original save. Oh, good. You're not going after all. What? I am just... Did you see which way he went? Into the alley, right? Yeah. Among Us. The fact that we can go back here is interesting. Can we do shit? Amongst other crap, the vending machine offered Karma's apple and cinnamon soda. You wonder if you should buy Ashley some after all. Fine! Good Karma's apple and cinnamon soda. Oh. Or maybe they are actually bad. I don't know. Maybe they are actually make you die or something. A waste of money, but, you know, uh, already a waste of money and it kills you? Wow. <laughs> Two in one pack. Two in one deal. It's not so bad. No, nothing. Oh yeah, you totally have nightmares of the Nissy claim. What? You keep hoping there'll be something useful in this paper, but there never, never is. Oh hell yeah. Tradition. Runs in the family. So, huh? Here? We're not getting the ashtray? Alright then. The shop is closed. Store is closed. Oh, unfortunate. Oh! Wait, hold the door, please! Run, sucker, run! The elephant relates to her third contest can board. Wow. Ha ha ha! Curse you, brats! Fucking okay, asshole. Damn reposos. Carbor recycling, apparently approved by the devil in if the graffiti on the wall is anything to go by. W wow, okay, thank you, devil. I appreciate your concern for the environment. Are we going to follow him? It's asking for a passcode. I I swear to god, if <laughs> Okay, I was trying to go to other floor, if maybe. Elevator arrives. Of course. I don't know why I even entertained the idea of it being any anything else. Maybe it could be something else. Oh, 
uh, huh? What? Who, who let you in? I know the password. So I, I am a member of the cult. Sorry, was I not supposed to be here? This is a private event. Shoo, shoo. Is this the sex and demon party? Sorry, I got lost. Isn't this the demon sex party? Well, what? I hope not. My wife will kill me. <laughs> what are you talking about? There's no such thing. I do have a wife. No, there's no demon sex party. <laughs> oh, I'll just regular them and summoning them. I mean, that's what I was told, but... Listen, who the hell invited you? You're not even dressed properly. Right, sorry, I didn't know that there was a dress code. I don't know who told you about today, but you can go kick rocks. Alright, I'll go. Ho go. No harm done. I can't believe this. They, li they literally invite anyone these days, huh? That just means success is getting popular. We should be glad. My wife will be proud of me. So I'm guessing Ordnate Nightburst was part of this guy's little club. They're pretty far from home though, maybe they got at multiple locations? Can yeah, this guy actually summon demons though? I mean, Ordnate Burst man managed it eventually, but... He decided he should go inside somehow and find out. Interesting. They just need a... Uh, cultist. Wait, I'm curious. Uh, let's go back. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that I want to know. Like, we can skip tax, which is great, so we can go back immediately if we want to. Like this. Right? And then it skips the whole thing, charade, and that's like saying the other thing does something else, no? Yeah, I'm just curious, like, if picking the other options does something like maybe killing us. Sorry, I get lost. So sorry, I'm gonna get somewhere else. If it's the unemployment office that's upstairs, <laughs> I'm pretty sure they close at this hour. Great, thanks. What's the event you're doing? So you're unfortunate, you must if you don't beat it, you jobless jackass. Oh, that's sorry to bother you, gentlemen. How does this fool get elevator code? Now we have to change it again. To to what? <laughs> oh, that's interesting. All right, let's go back to our original save. Let's see, My, uh, recycling, of course. Uh, why do I care about what those clones are up to anyway? You said it. If a way for this attack before you're done with your smoke, you just call it quit. You set up fire, and then just as you're putting your smoke out, there's a key under the secret but jar. Got employee key? What? They're just going to kick you out again. All right, interesting. S well, no, save again because uh, I'm. Just checking if there's two branching paths if we go forward there and if we go back here again. Hey there, I got you something. Oh, is that? You hadn't heard the caramelized apple and seven soda. I know, I disappointed myself too. I can't believe they got me with their limited time only BS. Yes! Oh wait, my foot is here. Bear me. Alright, I'm back with my treats. Yes, thank you. Let me try some right now. I shall open the can and take a sip. Well, any good? No? You can have the rest. I just bought it! So it's gross too. That's just great. Hi, <laughs> that's like what nail polish smells like. What a waste of money. Not at all. My curiosity is sated. I mean, I guess, true. Chemical burn on my tongue saying, I really am mighty pleased with this random act of kindness. What do you want in return, my virgin- what? My, are you- what? okay. My virginity, hmm? J Jesus fucking Christ, that's enough of that. Ha, huh? I mean if you got a bar and did buy your drink, isn't that the logical conclusion? No, it's not. What? <laughs> Which bar is this? I, I should go sometime. No, no, why? Actually, that doesn't make sense. I up the bar browsing bitches are very virginal. Uh, wow. How judgmental of you. Very judgmental of you. That's very bad. She takes another sip of soda. Uh, that's nasty. You don't have to finish it. Just throw it out. Never. It was a gift. What? Okay. Wait, there is more? All done? Just saying, Chief, you are not dead yet. No one has showed up. Maybe it was sufficient from some other night? Maybe it was. So if we are leaving this morning, how could that be? Some nightmares are just that. I don't have nightmares. This was the first one ever. What? Really? I have nothing but nightmares. 
Anyway, I'm all good. Go back to sleeping on the cultist. Huh? I don't know how to get in though. They told me to get lost. I need a smoke. Go ahead, wait. Elsewhere. I've had enough of your secondhand smoke for tonight. Okay then. Pop park? Nothing yet. Alright then. Um, maybe we can increase the walking speed a little bit more. That's wrong. Like 25? No, that's, that, that, that triggers my brain, seeing like it's smaller than... Uh, it's not a... what do you call it? It's not defeasible by 5. It triggers me. Alright then, here we are. In what I seem to be the pantry, right? The drip. Best set of draper you have ever let your lies laid your eyes on. Ooh, cool. Finally, something to praise on. Someone has left note, it reads, To him over ate my casserole, I will have your head on a plate. Out of his life, same shit, different toilet. Yeah, except you really ate a person's head, huh? There's a crumpled note in the trash, it reads, Stop eating my lunch, you animals! <laughs> Damn. The top layer is full of cake, lower some paper cups. Uh, are we not gri gripping them? On the cards, it's a plate full of cake and a coffee dif dispenser. What's with this with the cakes? It's a bit late for a work meeting. Or the demon meeting. The elevator is coming up. Are we supposed to hide? You hid inside the closet, clean closet. Uh, this is going to take two trips. Remember, as he goes to go, let's take one of the car down with the elevator with him. Huh. Maybe you can hide. Cleaning closet, nothing worthwhile inside. This guy will be back for the other cart soon. Yeah, I, I think I know what to do here. You pull down one of the curtains. Got a curtain, what? No? What? What? I, I thought you were going to hide inside the cart. Are you not? Remove paper cups from the cart. You wrap yourself in the curtain like a ghost and stuff yourself inside the cart. Oh, okay. Hum. The ghostly hastily shoves a piece of cake into his mouth. <laughs> oh. Oh, Dark Lord, that is good. He carts into the elevator. Some finally uh, benefit to being cool. This. How is this cart so much heavier than the other? Gasp, cool to me. The weight of my sins. No. The weight of stealing cakes. Okay, okay, be cool. No one has to know. <laughs> it's between me and the devil. Six. Fuck you. F you. Just like normal. Oh, uh, you, why are they partying? And why is that person over there like that? Did I miss it? Shh. I can say anything from here. Uh, are you sure it's a good idea to just pop out? Out oh, then. Ahem. Oh, you have a sprite. Well then, everyone, the ritual is all set up. Now I know you're all excited about the free coffee, but first thing first. All together now. Show yourself, Lord Unknown! This is such one! <laughs> oh no, you! Reveal yourself to us, Lord Unknown! The girls keep calling for Lord Unknown for a while. But it's becoming interestingly clear nothing is going to show up. Wow, look at this amateur hour! Why, Ashley summoned something on her first try. And yeah, because of the guide from the person who did that back then. So that's probably not a good thing, is it? I feel Lord Unknown is with us today, but only in spirit. Um, I brought the cards down. But someone stole one of the cakes. I don't know who. Do you need to mention it? Oh, can we have some now? Scythe. Yes, please enjoy yourself. Shit. Where are your robes? Uh, sorry, the thing is I spilled some coffee on them. Ah. Fool. Now that you've got your answer, you miss Ashley. Oh, okay. It's, why is it very simple to sneak in here? Hey, no? Are we not? Yeah, we are partying. This chip has offered milk for the coffee instead of cream. Also, the beer still tastes like piss. Not that I ever, ever drank piss. Well, say something. Converse? 
But how do you hear about this getting in the first place? The gold makers and episode character has an ad. I figured it was going to be lame, but I thought it I come check check it out since I don't live too far away. What about you? Same anyway. Yeah, I gotta go. It was nice talking to you. See you next time. What what next time? I, th I thought she didn't like it here. <laughs> wow, someone is underdressed. Mr. Busy is eating cake to care. It should be fun to take two pieces, right? Oh, look how, how many there are. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's fine. No service right now. Really? What? I think, oh, it was the bar. I think it was the candle and some other thing. Why <laughs> they are all partying? All right then. Are we not going to sing? Hell yeah. <laughs> Doing concert down here. Hey, I'm on stage. Let's go. It's like I'm famous. Famous. Oh yeah, you're dancing. She has begun singing. Woo! People are starting to time to get out of here. I uh, I'm glad that you're happy. Oh, I wonder if they notice. No. All right then. Ah. Hey, didn't we already already tell you to beat it? Are they done? How did the summoning go? Ah, uh, no! Look, man, you're ruining the whole vibe without the get up. Yeah, you can come in here dressed like this again. The whole point is that we don't know who's who. You know what? I think you're right. Shame on me, I'll leave right away. Um, er, uh, good. Just don't let this happen again. Have a good night. Oh, they're so nice. If only they're not a murderous cult. I mean, I guess they're not murdering anyone yet. So, yeah. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Nothing. Nothing here. Can we go even go down again? No? We cannot. By the way, maybe you'll start eating out of here once your money runs out. Maybe. Alright then, I assume nothing else to be done here. Are you done snipping on the cultists? Yeah, so there's apparently a little cultist club where they all get around for some demon and treats. <laughs> the treats part are important. But they can summon for shit. Absolutely nothing show up. Nothing show up on this end either. I don't understand, it was sufficient for sure, there was like... You hear a car. It's that's him. So not part of the cultist. That's the guy who slid our thoughts in my dream. Yikes! He really just went into our room just like that. He so doubted me. Where did he get the key? Should we just leave? We are supposed to fake at the room in the morning anyway. Our stuff is still in there. Besides, we got a gun. What stuff? We we sold off most of the junk you were hoarding, and I can live without dress and laundry. Well, like someone pointed out, we can keep wasting money buying new clothes. I'm not risking my life getting in there to rescue our socks. It's my better bra, actually. This new one sucks. Oh, okay. Still not interested. In fact, I'm somewhere, somehow, even less inclined now. Scuff, you know nothing of my troubles. Regardless, I think we we have to kill that guy, though. This is no random burglary. He's basically after us for whatever, for whatever reason. Oh, yeah, yeah. Keep coping about the reason why you kill people. Like, some of his even track us down, so even if we run away now, when he keep coming after us, uh, that's a problem. Probably not only him, which is, yeah. That's not wrong, but... Ah, and why is he st still in the room? We're not even there. Well, if I was him, I figure we're out getting food or something. So now he's probably waiting to kill us upon entry. Unlikely, since he wants to go about this quietly. Um. Hmm. He's definitely hiding in the closet or something, waiting for us to go back to sleep. Then he'll kill us in our sleep, just like in my vision, again. And you know how this how? And I guess that's what I do, duh. Plus he's using enough, so there. Listen, you just trust me, I thought this thing's true. You question not why she's talking about such things. Now enough deal dealing, let's get in there and pretend we forget something. Then we'll lure him somewhere less conspicuous. Conspicuous? The park? And then what? You have to ask. 
scythe. Are we going to use the gun or what? Is, is there something here? No, no, nothing. All right then. I think Ashley would leave something behind. All right, leave this to me. This has good. This has good, got to be the uh, stupidest thing we have done so far. Uh. Personally, I think shooting fireworks in there was dumber by hey opinions, which if my I may add was also your idea. I was twelve. You should have stopped me. Well, yeah. So I should talk you out of this one, or no? Shut up and follow me, lead. You are Ashley. Oh. Not a step forth to kill you yet. Oh gosh, Jelly Andrew, I just did this our impromptu night walk to the stars let me parch. Is that so? Let's return to the guest stop at once. And since we want to be oh so quick about it, let's take a shortcut to the park. Where we may frolic amongst the foliage shielded from sight. Uh How's that sound, huh? Terrific, let's go. Not so fast. Let me grab my things first. I just this that I don't trust the stuff here. Even if you're about to roam about with him around, will you like to save a game? Don't tell me what to do. Save. Oh. Well, congratulations, you have found a hitman. And died, which is the best part. For the record, Andrew doesn't far much better. When it comes to cutting people up, the hitman will see some interior asset. So given his romantic streak, he probably didn't want to leave without you anyway. I bet you'd be happy about that. If you weren't too fucking dead to feel anything. The hitman wins and... <laughs> found the hitman. Woo! Sad. I have the world is much better off without you. However, this is also anticlimactic. You get a free do over. Huh. Huh. I wonder if like the same closet has the same interaction. All good. Can we go? I didn't pick up my things yet. Come on, hurry up. No, we're not doing that again. Oh, okay. <laughs> I love that. Oh, what? Flush? Oh yeah, this is the thing that we need to do. This is definitely 100% the thing we need to do. <laughs> the laundry? Gut wash laundry. Uh, oh yeah, the clothes, definitely. Holding the ribbon for me, are we with a gentleman? Just letting in some fresh air and the sound of the city. Hurry up and get your things already. I already did. Ashley, are you kidding me? Maybe I forget something. I don't care, we're going to the park so we can kill- Heal! Sometimes for looking about it, but is all I'm saying. Smooth. Real smooth. Come on, then. This isn't suspicious at all. Ha! Huh? Fine, fine, fine. Let's go. Alright, wait, wait, wait. Are you two okay? Huh? Hitman's car. The car's locked. It's that guy's car, right? Wanna break in? And we get every single person on premise. Why on earth would you want that? Huh? I think you wanted to, you know, off the guy. The last thing we need is an audience. Alright, cars have alarms. Uh, uh... Hey, at least I ask before doing it. Oh, okay. Cool. Epic poggers. Oh yeah, park, park time. Where is this a uh, road? I wonder, huh? An them or several has been made to place the trash where it belongs. So close, they were all so close, but couldn't quick, quite stick the landing. No. He, is he coming after us or not? I don't know, I think he will. Let's pick a corner we can ambush him from. What corner? It's all bushes. Ah, wait, this is several opinion? Option? No? 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 Hey, this tree will hide us nicely. What are we going to do if he just says the motel? Well, I guess we'll just leave then. Hold your eyes in the back of our heads and keep watching over our shoulders all times. Oh, uh, what a pain. I can't believe I'm actually hoping he show up now. Good. Don't feel bad about murdering a murderer. And on that note... Not it. You're making me do it again. Do it again. He only has a knife. You've got this. 
Actually, I think you're just afraid of doing the consequences of your actions, you know? I hear footsteps, I think. Actually, wait, I never fired a gun. Crap, I think you stopped. I can't hear anything anymore. You can ambush a killer that's waiting to ambush you, and you can very well start looking for him either, not without letting him know that you he, that you know he's here. Crap, did we whisper too loudly? Is he on the ass? Where did he stop? To see what we're up to? Bet this all looks suspicious as hell. This doesn't look like anything. He shouldn't even be able to see us from behind this. An idea hits you then. Oh, you already... Oh, you already buy. No, we can do it here. What? Well, well, Hey, as I go, come and find me. I don't want to. Actually, seriously, I don't know how this thing works. No peeking. You are Andrew now. <laughs> what is this stupidity? Time has come to play hide and seek with Killer and Ashley. Okay. Load time. Because I kind of curious. What? What's this all about? No? 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 Actually, can, can we enter? The, uh, yeah, we can enter it. Huh? And I managed to money card, very classy. We can go here. Oh, it's too fast. Yeah, we, we are too fast. Wrong option. And this is like the perfect speed, I guess. Fun, you just can't know. You choose not to take it with you. <laughs> what? Alright then, cool. Where, 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 where are we? Alright then. So we can skip this part and go back to that corner, I guess. I was just checking if there was an op other options available to the game. Alright then, time to play head and seek. Nothing here. There he is. Sh sh shoot. Did, did I... Is he, de is he dead? Nice work! I saw like a gun. Hey, I know you had it in you. I have a choice word to say to you, but this is neither the time nor the place. Let's get going before someone comes to see what's up. Well then, we can just shoot them too. Don't think we'll always be so lucky. Oh yeah, and what the fuck was that? What was what? You're running out of the blue! What, you need an excuse to start rummaging through the bushes? Not that a hitman thought you were looking for me, he said they were waiting to kill you. He didn't know you had a gun and it would kill him as Instead, I'm a bloody genius. And what if he was in the bush you ran off to, huh? Genius. Well, he wasn't. Urgh. Cut your bitching, it'll all work out. Clue me the next time you have these genius ideas. So that I can tell you off. Haha. <laughs> Alright then. You're Ashley. Um, wait. There's other things that I want to explore. Obviously, so yeah. Go back. Let's see. Nothing here, not in this bush. Nothing. So you're in that bush over there. What the? Nothing. Nothing. There's nothing here, but a bunch of branches that have been banned. Ah, that's a clue, isn't it? There's nothing but rush in this bush. People think they're so clever hiding their candy wrappers and beer cans here. Nothing here. Nothing at all. Huh? Nothing. Oh, oh god, it's just you. What are you doing, you absolute- Shh, you didn't find me, keep looking! Do you want to die? What if he sneaks up on your- Shoo shoo, leave! <laughs> There's some bugs in bush, no, but not much else. I love bugs. You leave your dumbass sister to sit in a bush by herself. What if you try the other option, the other way? It looks like someone has gone through the bush here. Oh! That's another clue. How about the second option shoot? Did... Did I... Is he dead? Nice work! Ashley camera gun. Dude, you emptied the whole thing! I panic. This thing is useless now! Well, I mean, no one knows it's empty. So I guess so. Did I sell bullets to just anyone or do you need a license or something? I have no idea. Sorry, Ashley. I thought I wouldn't have wasted them all if you hadn't made me shoot him. I was like playing the finger pointing game. I thought we agreed to leave that behind. Let's just get out of here before someone sees us. Oh, yeah, and what the fu- Okay, this is the same thing. Alright then. So, we can waste our bullets there. Wow, okay, interesting. I choose not to, though, for now. 
So yeah, uh, load then. Which is interesting. So we can explore around. Uh, one more interaction, obviously. If anything, there's points to be gained, which is awesome. Points, you know? Point, point, point. Video game points to make us stronger, better. Yeah. Nothing. Okay, it's just normal shoot then. Okay, now we return here. Let's do it the normal way, shall we? Whoa, whoa, just, we just teleported for a save. Did we just leave him here? Why not? As long as no one saw us do it, who's gonna have a clue it was us? Hell, this guy carrying nice with him. He's clearly a criminal. Maybe the authorities will assume his friends got to him or something. Ever the optimist. Oh, whatever. Let's just li go before someone comes to walk their dog or something. Yeah. Interesting. I think you're all in far deeper trouble than you all thought. Got car keys. Oh yeah, baby. Let's do le leave those fingerprints all over the guy. That's just great. I'm sure you meant to say something else. I guess it doesn't matter, since you've never gotten your fingerprints taken. Have you? Yeah. Ah, uh, motherfucker. Whoa, what for? My driver license. Well, good thing it's me manhandling this corpse then. Ha, ah, he's fucking dead. Yeah. What is happening here? Huh. Oh, whoa, 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 we disappear. Under the darkness, are we? Can we see how much bullet we have? No. Wash laundry, nothing. Vroom vroom, motherfucker! Hell yeah. Mm hmm. Is there anything else we want to grab before we leave? No? I'm just checking, you know, you'll you'll never know if there's interactions or stuff like that. Secrets in video games. No? Not then. Probably not. I'm just <laughs> overestimating there. <laughs> That's funny. Oh. Oh <laughs> this paper kind of suffer incidents. This is cool. So cool. Most of them are about your old apartment, both the tainted water and the fire situation. There's also an article from last week about some chem chemical leak in some other city. Someone has scribbled the words same shit in the corner. Meditate mindlessly sits on top of a car seat. Interesting. There's an envelope with various papers inside, the most notable one reads. Dear Mr. Washing Machine, consider this a receipt for your cleaning service. Ah. We are extremely grateful that you accepted clean or laundry for us. And we are so confident in your service that we will not be needing any progress report. In fact, please do not contact us. If anyone were to ask, the less we know, the better. As a bonus, we have included a free sample of all the new soda flavors from our sister company, Happy Washing. <laughs> Damn, imagine like getting paid to kill people, but you also get free soda. Are we the laundry? Seems that way. Ha, huh? yikes. Yikes, isn't it? Take the car and go. Not yet? Why? I mean, there's nothing much else, unless the car suddenly move, which is like, holy shit. Yeah. So, where to? Um, could you elaborate? We have to somewhere, right? Got the, got the car and everything now. This isn't exactly the best situation to go jar riding in a stolen car. We barely have enough money to feed us. Fine, let's go take mom's. For fuck's sake, does everything I say go in one ear and out the other? We're never going to talk to anyone we never know ever again, remember? Did I say squat about talking to her? Let's go rip, rub the bitch blind and leave. What money do you think she has exactly? I'm sure she got something. I think she inherited some jewelry from grandma. Well, yeah, but she can sell those. She can, but I sure can. Oh no, we still can't go over there. Why not? We've got Port Sura or something. Our parents' place is definitely something they've looked into. Listen, Andy. Wrong. Andrew, the pursuer is taking a nap in the park right now. Do you honestly think you're anywhere near important enough for someone to hire, too? A fair point, actually. 
If anything, it seems that you seem that guy took care of us and that's that. But the thing is, I'd rather be overly cautious than that. Scythe will be quick. Get in there, rub them, kill them and get out. So now you want to kill our parents, great. You just said we can talk to them again anyway, so they might as well be dead. I'm way too tired for this. Fine, we'll just rob them then. Break in while they're at work, get some money and then get lost. I'll take it. Where do they live now anyway? I know the place but I don't exact remember the exact address. She actually told you the address? Yeah. Huh, the only thing she told me was stop calling her. <laughs> Rip bozo. She probably figured I'd tell you then. Well, what a sloppy job you did. Do forgive me, Ashley, it didn't seem like real fun information at a time. Whatever, just drive. I haven't driven a car in over two years. Will we... will we be fine? Just don't distract me with anything. Three years? Is that how long has it been you you all lock in there? Okie dokie. Feet on floor! <laughs> I love the expression before, like, the other face, like, looking like that. My god, it's not even your car! Shut up and put your silver on. Ooh, this sucks. Safe driving. Safe driving, you know? Yeah, yeah, it sucks. Now hurry up. I'll be goddamn if we got caught in that man car just because you got pulled over for some stupid shit. Make me then. Do you, or do you not, want to go rob our parents? I said, make me, Andy. Okay, well, 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 what do you want? If it's to piss me off, then you're nailing it right now. Oh, come on, it's just a joke. I know it's not a joke. I, yeah, it is, you get so mad. It's just, it's just so funny. Like, I don't know, Ashley, you've pulled this shit before. I have no idea what you're talking about. Mm hmm You'll keep going, Andy, 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 and I'll get out of credit you. And suddenly it's Andy and Lily and stupid bullshit all over again. Way too read into it, I was only just, honestly just joking around. Well then it's not funny and you're going to stop. Nothing is funny to you anymore. Really, huh? Well, are you going to drive or what? I just don't want us to get in trouble. But you don't have to be such a hard ass about it. I do though, when you're such a dumbass about it. Oh, you too. <laughs> Just drive. Are you angry? I'm looking out for us. Fucking drive, Andy! <laughs> I don't know what is wrong with them, honestly. D drive, Andrew. And so he does, finally. And he said to give Andrew the stunner treatment until he apologize. You're not sure what he needs to apologize for exactly, but you won't forgive him until he does. So while you wait for him to notice you're not talking to him, you fall asleep. What the- what the fuck? Yeah. You're pretty sure you're dreaming, but at the same time you feel wide awake. This is amazing, holy shit. Yeah, <laughs> hiding. <laughs> Some red flowers are swaying the breeze. Double click. Some. Okay. Her. Your soul. Uh, your, I assume? Huh? What? what? Who's there? Where are you? And where am I? Is this another vision or what? There's no response. There's nothing to step on. Maybe the red flower, huh? Pick up red flowers. Music is banger. Throw down some red flowers. Interesting there. There's nothing to step on. Very interesting. Her soul. Summon you to can't tune in. What? You're all muffled. I can't hear anything. The voice can continue talking, but you can make heads or tails of it. Ah, oh, whatever. I should focus on getting out of here anyway. What the? 
Oh, funky stuff is going on here, isn't it? So, if we... Yes! Fuck! Where am I? Everything is the same! Pick up red flowers. Ah, interesting. Bro, this is bamboozling. What the fuck? What happened if we go here? No, nothing? Alright then. So, what do you have for me, huh? Put down some red flowers. The abyss gaze. That's a door. And that's you. Hello there. Buddy, long time to see. Well, I just avoided falling down into an eternal void. Lucky! Indeed. So it's not automatic direction? Or then? Call the demon, you fucking pussy. <laughs> Wait for a bit. I'm just like checking if I can grab the flower. Come on, there's a demon right there. Are you being serious? Yeah, why not? Later. What do you mean? Talk to the demon. No. No, I refuse. I'm... See, you, you, you're calling me a pussy for not talking to the demon, but at the same time, ignoring a demon is more of a brave move, you know? It's you. I summoned you before, right? Human, you've come. Where am I? In a dream, I called you here. Well, can you wake me up then? I was in the middle of something. It doesn't ever occur to you that you should be afraid of this soul stealing creature. I have summoned you to make a deal. Right, but I can do this now. What if Andrew tries to talk to me? He needs to know I'm deliberately ignoring him instead of being in a coma or something. The demon couldn't care less about the lovers, but you are having with your brother. It carries on as if you hadn't said a thing. You have used my gift. What? Was it useful? Seeing the future. Ah, yes, the trinket you gave me. Yes, it's, very, it's been very useful. Thank you. Oh, no, you just sold it. Then do you want to see the future again? Sure, I just have to keep holding into it, right? It is out of energy. Ah, we need more souls. I'm able to recharge it. Do you want to make a deal? Of course you do. Never has it be ever been a bad idea to make deals with devils. Let's hear it then, what do you want? Human souls. Well, you're not getting mine, so if that's what's it, then... Not yours, tar soul. <laughs> tar soul, then. Is that like an insult or... Who's then, just anybody? And why don't you go get some soul yourself? I cannot enter the human realm unsummoned. Like you cannot enter here. I'm able to reach you only because of my talisman. But even then, one can only interact between realms through deals. Do we have a deal? I don't really get it, but I can say I'm all that interested either. Listen, I really need to get back to my brother. If I offer you soul, you'll make my talisman trinket dream thing work again, right? Correct. Sounds good. I do have a soul or two in mind, actually. Oh, alright. Well, let's see what Andrew has to say about it. He's kinda... I don't know, something is shifting, I don't really like it. Wow, okay. You're not even feeling yourself as the one problem here, huh? The demon says nothing to that. It probably wasn't right indeed to talk about this. I will be waiting. Why are you trying to vent to a demon? Uh, right, yeah, alright, alright. Let's see what he can do. So, how do I wake up? You wake up once your mind returns home. That's... Huh? Farewell, Tarso. Then it is left. Oh, Thank you so, so much for the help. Pick up red flowers. Red flowers, yes, indeed. Can we use it to return? Turn down some red flowers. Oh, oh, wow, I don't know if that's a good idea. Oh, it is absolutely a good idea because we could walk there now. Huh, very puzzly. I don't even know what we are doing here. Pick up red flowers. More red flowers for the journey. And more red flowers over there. And there we go. Boom, boom. Wait, there's two door. Do 
He starts to with five flowers. Enter now. He starts to with eyes. Enter. No thanks. There's no returning. What? Well, this is greedy. Whatever this is looks unfinished. So we just need to move the eyes to look at the thing. Yeah. This is cool, so I'm I'm kinda liking this one. So yeah. Pretty interesting flow, we just need to do this. Our soul. Well, hello again. This is not the path of your home. Oh. Up here is my realm. You must return to your own. And I was already in the demon world. This is the realm in between. Entering the wrong realm and summon, and summon will result in your death. Huh? So it's fine as long as you, you are summoned. So you not summon me to your realm. Why summon me here in this crap line instead? Return Horm Tarso. I'm expecting those souls. You can tell me there's another realm and then not show it to me. Return now. Ah? Huh? Where am I now? And this is a tiresome. And I've had it up to here with the stupid flowers. There's no escaping here. What? Oh, uh, we're just gonna step on floor already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spooky stuff are going on. Ashley! Andy, is that you? Help get me out of the shit hole! Come on, wake up, it's not funny. I'm trying, jackass! Just something, help me! Ah. Uh. Oh, thank god. I was so here away from taking you to the hospital. Huh? Why? That will screw us over, wouldn't it? You wouldn't wake up no matter what I did. God, Ashley, don't scare me like that. Oh, what time is it? Like 10 in the morning or something? Mom and Dad should be both, be both at work right now. So whenever you're ready, I guess. You're only being nice now because you treated me like shit last night. I treated you the way you deserve to be treated. Or I should not scratch that. Considering you kept pushing me around all day, I think it was pretty fucking lenient with you. I was pretty fucking lenient with you. Scythe. So anyway, this episode is titled Andrew and Ashley and the Home Sweet Home Invasion. I kind of a knockoff cash grab show, Sam. I'm not interested. Well, it's definitely all about cash grabbing. Huh? I mean, I mean, boo, no, thank you. No, so that, you're into it, let's go. No, it sucks, huh? But I'm so nice and I'll roll with it for now. It... I mean, it, I guess it's kinda nice, I don't know. Why on earth are we at some park? Free parking, that's why. <laughs> Mom and Dad live somewhere down the slope. Alright then, fascinating. Come on, we only have so much time until Mom and Dad get home from work. Alright then. We Ice cream shop, alright then. Cars? No. Parking meter? No. Alright, let's have another housing area. This way is nothing but more parking spots. Figures. This can be the right place. Look how nice everything is. Now it's gotta be this. She did sound happy when she talked about their new place. What's their last name anyway? What do you mean, what's their last name? Name is on the door. Did she go with that, that name's mom? That, that's name or mom's? That's name, right? Why would they change this at that at this point? I don't know. To throw us off? You really make it sounds like they don't want us to find them. Just a feeling I got. Well, whatever. Let's find the house of Mr. and Mrs. Graves. Trash. 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 Smith. Grayson. 
Shitter. <laughs> Why will you name yourself Shitter Son? Ugly fan Michaelius. <laughs> Honestly, if I have to guess, it's that one. Mixed ways and bio waste. Inside is mixed waste and bio waste. Woo, shocker. Trash bins. Jones. There's a path covered there. Are we not going to. No? Are we not? Honestly, I'm guessing that path right there with stones, but we'll see. No? Or then. Aha! Here we go. Let's just knock. No one comes to open the door. Alright, all good. Whatever, let's just find a way in. Here? Ah, oh, come on, look at this place. Do we need to open? I've got a garden and everything. Doesn't matter, we'll fill our pockets and go. The back door is locked. Oh, potatoes. Here, grow some palatable potatoes. Fine, one of the things is loose. A stick. Are we not going to take a stick? Here, grab some, grow some tasty onions. Here, grow some scrumptious carrots. Ooh, scrumptious carrots. Onions. Carrots. Okay, what's... What's this then? It's under the floor pot. Got key. Not. There's a fuck all under the flower pot. Interesting. Safe. So we don't get any key. That stone looks suspicious, not gonna lie. Some surprisingly heavy rocks. No? Alright then. I think this window is open. Can you reach it? Nope. I mean, you too can reach it if you try, right? Got a wooden plank. A stick. What? Wait, what's the stick still there? It's bothering me. I saw a wooden plank. Alright, it's still too high. Let me up. Well? Uh, not good. It's open but held in place by a latch that's on the other side of a window. I mean, the fingers can reach you and hook it. I'll push you up after you open the latch. Here we son, looking for an excuse to touch my ass. Uh, I, okay, two things. First of all, no. Second, like, I need an excuse. What? Ha! Huh? Now hurry up and find something before I slap you. On my ass or the face? That my lady, I'll let you find out. What? Uh, so it's the face. Fine, I'll find something to unhook the latch with. And something to unhook the latch with. Trash bags? Trash bins? Your parents trash bin. Your parents trash bin. Interesting. You know, there's a stick there. There's obviously a stick. There's nothing else, right? Got a stick. Let's see, let's see. Aha! Uh -huh. Andrew helps you come through the now open window. Give me your hand, I'll pull you up. Thanks, but much much rather you just open the door for me. Oh yeah, that will be easier. If you got a key. Why, why, is this, why does this bathroom is dilapidated? Renovations are food. Oh, I read. I hate that the clock has the same thing. You turn the handle, but no water comes out. There's no water inside the tall ball argument. You don't try to use this one. Or maybe. No? Okay then. I thought we could flush it and it will work. Ah, yeah, the same feeling of home. Woohoo. It's a funny matter never calls you with. Woohoo! Go let your brother in the house, goddamn you. No. This is neither the front nor the, nor the back door. I should probably let Andrew in the house before I start exploring. We already started exploring, so yeah. Does it make a difference of which door I open? Welcome, welcome! Thank you. Not so fast. Now what do we say? Thank you very much. Round try again, boo. Exceptionally well done, that was a, a, an earth-shedding performance. Yes, to think you open a door so swiftly and with such grace. Stunning, marvelous breathtaking, these are but a few words I use to describe your ability to trespass. May I come in now? You may. Right, then let's split up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Uh, hey, there was something I was wondering about. 
Right now, can wait. Our situation is kind of damn sensitive. Well, can I guess? Good. Then tell me later. What is it about? Actually, uh, time to go back a bit, shall we? Same thing. Hmm. I'm sticking with the front door opening first. You find a letter. It reads, Sorry to hear about what happened to the kids. I agree it was probably a blessing in disguise. Don't feel guilty. It's not your fault. Lord Heart sorted it out for you. P.S. and Andrew, when we finish in college, is there any chance my doctor could have his textbooks? Those are ridiculously expensive. Thanks in advance. Much love to you and your husband. You never told me you'd drop out. I didn't. It was just on pause until I got out of quarantine. So, given the situation right now, I guess I did drop out. Well, tough love for a day daughter. Your textbooks are in nice just now. Well, we can explore around. Huh. Dun 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 dun. This group sent only operates during the height of summer season. Oh no. That is so sad. Welcome to the bum fuck nowhere national park. Okay then. Interesting. No. Hmm. Sure. <laughs> we can enter through the window, that's so funny. Onions. Can we? Oh, yeah, we can enter. So I guess there's no difference between the back and the front door. Right? I want to explore this room first, because why not? A fireplace? They have a goddamn fireplace, Andrew! Yes. This is some rich people's stuff! Who has a fireplace inside their house? It's not that uncommon, is it? Not in the older house, anyway. But is this house old, huh? Fuck if I know. Huh? Are you? That's how there aren't any photos of us here. So what? I guess I'm a little offended. It's not like there were any pictures in general in our place last either. True, but now that there are some, why not of us do? Guess we're just too ugly to be put in display. Right, maybe that's it. You're supposed to say I'm pretty! And you're supposed to be robbing the house, get to it! Okay then. Robbing the house. There's not much in the fridge right now. Kitchen knives. A cutting board. A dish rack and a blender. A sink. The pot is empty. A coffee machine. The cooking book is mostly birth and it's the recipes. I'm not surprised if they're involved with the cult, not gonna lie. Like your whole family. The dresser is locked. Inside the closet are clothes, as well as toys and some rope. Oh. Interesting. Uh he goes to close it. The closet is full of interesting stuff you wish not to touch. Nope. 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 You don't even want to know what your parents have been up to in this bed. There's nothing much to steal here, huh? Very interesting. Whose room is this? Your parents have lived here only for, only for a few months. They just someone to hoard all the stuff and spare a bit to boot. Money is clearly no longer an issue. And the extra bed implies there are no social no issues in their social life either. Rubber gloves. Washing machine and tumble dryer. Your parents are leaving it up. Yeah. Cleaning supplies such as vinegar. Little laundry, right at the top sits some sexual injury. How uncomfortable. An excellent quality mob. Woohoo! Mob. <laughs> Hiding. Christmas stuff, mostly candles. Here be candles. Christmas decoration, including a string of light. Yes. Christmas lights. I never lay some documents about purchasing a house. There are also a key. Got dresser key. And a little bag full of screwdrivers. Unlike the absurd, this one actually works. Hell yeah. A functioning toilet. No! No, don't you take me! Don't you take the joy away from me! No! I can't believe this. 
They're not allowing us to press this thing. The floor drain seems a little clogged up, but it's not your problem. Drain. Something is weird going on here. Andrew? Andrew? Hmm. Hi, there you are. Our friends seems to have picked up some new and exciting hobbies. Tell me more! I uh, don't think I will. But now it makes sense why mom kept hustling us to move out. I can find a key to the dresser anywhere. We already find you, though. Oh, you found a key! Nice! What's in there? There's no sign of any jewelry, but you spot some paperwork. It reads... Dear Mr. and Mrs. Gray, we have opted in for compensation for dam damage caused by our company's error. Our representative will be glad to meet you. you. Please like, come discuss the matter further at your earliest convenience. Flipping through the folder, something else catches your eye. Catches your eye. It is the death certificates of Ashley and Andrew Graves. Oh, they were already dead. Huh? Huh? I didn't know we died three months ago. What the hell is this? I guess I'll explain why mom keeps telling me not to call. It must have been spooky getting a phone call from a ghost. Ooh. That's... Someone has entered the house. Oh shit, isn't this too early? They shouldn't be home yet. Because they're shooting which Verapran just came in. But you can offer the salt to the dead, of the dead, so you hold off on that idea. Is someone there? Hi mom, it's just us. Oh yeah, totally a good idea, Andrew. Nope. Very great idea, Andrew. Welcome home. Andrew? What are you doing here? Surprise, we came for a visit. Oh, I see. How are you home so early? Did you get fired? It's my day off. I was just out shopping. How did you do get inside? You'll have the door unlocked. You should really be more colorful about that. Did I really? Here, let me help you with those groceries. Thanks, you should have let me know you were coming. It was, hey, very normal interactions. How about some coffee? Where do you keep the grounds? In the top cupboard, but what about a quarantine? Any milk in yours? Sure, let me just go wash my face. What the hell are you doing? Just play along for now, please. Guess I'll make some coffee. Actually, mom is kinda hot though. I'm sorry. <laughs> we still let them sneak out. What are you all planning? Nope. Your mom's purse. Get a bit of cash. It's somewhere in that. In enough for you. First, rubber gloves, vinegar, machine toilet, screwdrivers. Hi, sweetheart. Why did you stop answering my calls? Actually, I can spend my entire life listening to you complain. The least you could have done was mail some dry food or something. What for? You are taken care of. You're still spinning that bullshit. Sai, so shouldn't you be bothering Andrew by now? At least he gives a shit. Cry about it. Mom is busy treating her work uniform. Damn, alright. The bottle is empty. Sink. A dish rack and a blender. He's putting away groceries. Meat wine looks like your parent had night plan. You brought some coffee. So I saw the fire in the news. What happened? What do you care? Well, first we got evacuated. After that, they gave us the, the go ahead to leave. Since we've been cleared of the parasites anyway. Huh. Interesting. And the news say they. They said everyone died. That was only to make the story sell more. 
Anyway, here we are now, neither burn nor full of parasites. I'm just glad you're safe. Yeah, you sure look like it. So, quite the upgrade from our previous place, huh? Where'd you get the money for this place? Did you finally win the lottery? Ha! I wish. This house needs some serious repair, but the area is so worth it, don't you think? You know what? At first I was like, oh, damn, the, the mom is so bad. But after going through all this journey with uh, Ashley and Andrew and Ashley, it's getting much obvious that everyone here is just fucked up. The perfect non-answer. I haven't held barbecue events here with the neighbors. Barbecue events, just like on TV. I thought that was all bullshit, but no, they actually do that stuff here. But it stick out like a sore thumb. You'd be surprised, I'm actually quite well liked. So it's probably all thanks to my cooking skill. It's a shame our wrestler didn't inherit any. Hey, wh what? What What the hell? Haha. Uh -huh. The rest of the conversation is dreadfully boring. Don't cut it with anything you need to keep out with Andrew's lies. And if you are being honest, you don't want to talk to your mother in the first place. Well, it was good seeing you. Your father should be coming home soon, so I really need to start making some dinner. Oh no, don't worry about it. I'll make something. You know full well that was her way of telling you to get lost. Um, oh boy, I can't wait to hear how that has been. You must have all kind of stories about repelling this place. That's true. Anyway, why don't you go rest? I'll fix us something. Scythe. I'll take you up on that, thank you. Mother leaves. You are Andrew. Some of your burger items ended up with you cooking your victim's dinner. Go ahead then, make something your make something you smooth talker you. Indeed. Inside the fridge is some meat, you probably make something out of that if you know what. There's a recipe book there, right? A purse. It's, that's just for getting out. I think you were resting. Ah, stop going up and down. Did you ever get sick of each other? All the time. I hear absence make the heart grow fonder. The very last thing I need to grow is to grow fonder of that nightmare of a woman. Is it ready yet? Okay. Kitchen knives. You have nothing to cut. A dish rack and a blender. A sink. You don't know what to make yet. You press the green book for some simple recipe. What? I got this. You can do go do whatever. I'm alright. What is it? It's not nothing. You're stuck with an odd urge to pull this bloody bitch into your arms and force her to stay until she smiles. What? But you push such an idea to the back of your mind. Where it may fester with all the other thugs you wish you never had. Either way, you let her hover over for you now. What a simple soup recipe. You'll need meat, carrots, potatoes, onions. Chop everything up and boil in the pot. Okay, then, pretty simple. You don't have all the ingredients prepared. Cut meat. Get your knives. You cut the meat and chop meat. You have nothing more to cut. Cut potatoes. How does that our parents had all these fresh ingredients? While we languish in our apartment, really makes one appreciate just how much they love us. Come on, we'll get ours. We'll just have to figure out how to go about this now that she's seen us. Leave no witness. Let's not jump to judge just yet. I fucking knew it. Let's just let me think. I'll figure out something, alright? You got a feeling she has something more to say. But you can tell whatever it is, it's going to start an argument. So you leave it be for now. Got carrots. Got onions. Interesting. Where do we even eat dinner? Oh yeah, here. I forgot about that. It's nice. Yep. Chop, 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 chop. Just curious, did you just use the cultist cleaver to cut all the ingredients? Yes, why? I hope you wash it first. <laughs> do you still have the cleaver? I've got kept it clean, obviously. Anyway, there should be all the ingredients. Should be it. You turn ingredients in the pot and wait. Alright, you can't take this anymore. Ashley, I can tell something is up. Speed it up. I have something to tell you. 
But first you have to promise you'll agree. I will absolutely not promise that. Okay then, never mind. Stop being annoying, what is it? Are you going to be such a bitch about it? I don't want you to come to this conclusion by yourself. But since you won't, let me spell it out for you. We have to kill mom and dad. Scythe. No, no, none of that. I actually need their soul to recharge the clairvoyant dreamy thingy. Do you really, or are you just saying that? Huh? Pretty fucking interesting that you mentioned this now of all times. I did try to tell you before, but you blew me off. And again, I was hoping you'd come around on your own. Shame on me for expecting anything from you. Let me think about it. What else do you think about? Hey kids, it's good to see you. Say that with all the enthusiasm of that fish. What extremely tiresome dinner later. Phew, that was a riveting conversation. <laughs> Actually, where, where are you sitting? What do we, do we talk about again? Anyway, I'm sorry kids, I'm exhausted from work. Uh, I'm heading straight to bed. Put you to clean up. She leaves to the waiting for an answer. Alright. So, do we have options or not? Pick up dishes. Kitchen knives. District in a blender. Pink book. You should clean up the dishes like the good mommy's boy that you are. <laughs> what, what? Okay. It can be done. The dishes, the rubbing, or the killing. Rubbing or killing? The more I think about it, the less doable this is. Next one report to the other just put us on their radar. Radar, and if anything happens to our parents, who do you reckon are the prime suspects? Well, surely not their two dead kids. But where those where those documents even official? Well, even then, surely those poor, the poor grave sibling perish in the fire. Trust me, it only takes one person to start digging into it. And suddenly, we've not only alerted them where we are live, but also revealed our recent whereabouts. We're better off, better off mugging random strangers who have no connection to us. And what makes you... So sure this bitch won't snitch on us anyway. Seems to me she already saw that once before. I mean, assuming she believed me earlier, there'd be no reason for her to do anything. She's the kind of person who would rather stay out of it anyway. I fucking knew it! I knew it! I knew it! What? what? You're all about being so careful. But when push comes to shove, you stick your head in the sand. How? Oh, since you think everything is all good, why not stay here and play happy family some more? But you like that, huh? You seems to get along so nice. You know I'm only keeping up appearances, right? And so is she. Told me it was the same as ever. Ashley, are you kidding me? Okay. Listen, I choose you, didn't I? I choose you. So if anyone's playing happy follow me here, it's you and me. So you're saying you're not happy? Not that I didn't know that already. Fuck off with that, that's not what I said. If you keep up your end of the agreement, everything will just be peachy. I've been behaving. No, you haven't, but that's not what I'm talking about anyway. I agree to behave, and you agree it's just us now. Funny, because I remember agreeing to bury Andy and Lily. That is funny, I think you're misremembering. I'm not, because I, it's the only reason I'm here in the first place. Then you must have misunderstood me. What? If you don't like it, why didn't you stay here with mommy and daddy and be a good little murdered boy? Why did you leave me to rot? Clearly you don't even like me. You're the one who doesn't like me. It's all about Andy with you. Well, guess what? Andy is dead. You're right. I really don't like Andrew. I'm sorry to hear that. Because Andrew is all you will get. What happened to Lily and Andrew actually? Why, why are you, you both so a bit of the naming? It's... now isn't the time for this anyway. Let's just leave. I'll figure out what we'll do about the money and the trinket. If we're leaving anyway with the trinket char charge, we at least have the means to stay safe. I get it, but if we live quietly, there'll be no need for anyone to look for us. Yeah, quietly. Andrew, I didn't believe for a second that a woman can keep her shut mouth shut without being dead. Uh, yeah. Ahem. What are you, what are you two whispering about? Nothing. Does she need something? Just like peas in a pot. 
I don't suppose you've got any friends you could go stay with. Oh. There's enough space in this house. Despite it being far larger than the last one. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And you're both already in your 20s. I don't know how else to say it. No, no, it's... Yeah, we're not fucking planning on leaving here. Thanks for the invitation, though. It's not like you're unwelcome to visit. There's just no room to keep housing you indefinitely. Yeah, I get it. But since you're already here, I guess one night won't be a problem. But you need to start looking for somewhere else to say first thing in the morning. And it should probably be two separate places. That's a tall order after all earth, all or earthly position just burned to the ground. It's amazing what money can buy once you have a job. Oh, bro. Okay. Wow. Speaking of which, I have a morning shift tomorrow. There's a spare bed in the basement. Andrew, you can take the couch. All right. Good night. Good night. Well, aren't you going to bed? I'm not tired yet, so... You are under my roof right now, and you will go to your designated sleeping areas immediately. Uh... Sleep now or get out at once. You pretend to go, to go to bed until your parent falls asleep. Going to sleep is the worst. During the day, all the noise and actually never-ending bullshit keep your mind occupied. But at night, alone with your thugs, there's nothing to distract you from yourself. Despite having every intention of going to pick a fight with Ashley, you drift off to sleep. Interesting. Ah, oh, you're still dreaming about this, huh? The freezer isn't full of human meat. There's a severed lack of human meat in the freezer. Oh. Okay, the first one was like, okay, it, it makes you feel like, oh, oh, luckily, luckily there's no human meat here. And then the second one, be like, uh, feels like, hey, you need to fill this with human meat. Greetings, State Boar. Hath thou arrived to borrow sweet granules of sugar? Behold, as thou my witness, not be flesh doth I possess to present unto thee. All ghosts are apparently in to speak like this, yes, even the recently passed ones. You read too much poetry. Be alert, young Miss Gra Mr. Graves. It is time for you to be compartmentalized. What's ILST? Huh. That's interesting. What the? What the hell? Ah, are we taking them? Got a limb. Got a limb. I wonder. You never know if there's something else secret hidden in the path that you walk. Huh. The pan is empty. Alright, actually, I already cooked one. What? Can we not cook one? Very interesting. Let's limit the freezer. Limit the freezer. Limit the freezer. There's a severe lack of human meat. The candle hall door is empty. The door has no handle nor will it budge. Oh. Huh? It's missing candles. Hello there, uh, yes you. What are you doing here? I... Actually, no, don't answer, I don't care. Get lost, you're not supposed to exist anymore. Says who? You? You're not about me, Andy. Forget this. <laughs> Why are you following me? Go away. Shoo, shoo. Interesting. Stop following me, you little shit. Huh? Oh, let me get it. Better press the candle on the candle holder. Nothing happens. You're welcome. Use lighter to light the candle. Oh. 
light sure is dark that way. Good thing I have these candles. Great, hand them over. Ha! Huh, no way! Ask... Kill her? Ask nicely? May I have one of the candles, please? No. And why is that? Because I only have so many left. And if my lemon muffin has no candles, I can't pretend it's cake anymore. Just eat it then. That way you can pretend you ate the cake and won't need the candles anymore. It's so precious to eat! God, you're such a tool today! Okay, whatever. There's nothing to light. Oh. There we go. Figures, there, that way will be blocked. With noise. Even in your dream, the entertainment sucks. So what are you in a plane today? Nothing, go to bed. Boring! I don't care, go to sleep and never wake up again. I don't want to sleep, I want to draw. No then, just don't leave the spot. I can draw without my coloring pencils. Scythe. Well, if I nick myself, I can get red. I'll get your pencils. Thanks, Andy, you're the best. You've reduced yourself to an errand boy for a lily that doesn't even exist. Way to go, loser. What the? Who are all of you? Well, I assume this is the way of the eye. There's someone outside the window. Are we not going to talk about that? We still need the candle there. A collection of photos and not your girlfriend cherish. Or your ex-girlfriend used to cherish, you're pretty sure you will you wouldn't be up there anyway. Someone stares in the room with an blinking gaze. Hello, Ashley. Your trash full of letters, mostly death threats. You have one, two, seven, nine new voicemails. Oh hell no, you're not listening to all that. Look, I don't know what your fucking problem is. The audio has been distorted, but you recognize that voice anywhere. I told you to fuck off, I warn you. You think you're, you're all that? Do you think you're somehow special? You're just another hole, and you're not even the only one. He's got a slew of flues, he's just like you. Enjoy what you have, because you're well on your way out by now. The only reason he's with you is because he feels sorry for you. You're just some ugly cunt with a dead best friend. Oh. Hurry up and kill yourself, damn. And when you get to hell, ask your friend what happened to her. Ha! <laughs> bet you be ha! <laughs> you be so surprised. Fucking die, you worthless piece of shit slut. Go slit your wrist some more. And this time do it proper. Do you think you're better than me? Just because you can fuck him and I can't? You think that's love? Are you fucking delusional? Come dumb stuff like you are just that. He will never love you. Oof. Not like he loves me. I am the only one. I am everything. I'm the secret seal level here. When he lies in bed at night and when he needs someone to hold on to you, it's not you he seeks out. It is me. That's enough of that. Indeed. Are you having fun? You have some cold pencil. It's your ex lover dormitory room. What do you hope to find there, pervert? <laughs> I don't know. Julia. You've been quiet all day, what's up? No, no, it's... it's... nothing. Or actually, I've been thinking about something a lot lately. But I don't know if I should bring it up. Without much build up, you kinda have to now. Ah, uh, well, okay, but please don't get mad. Well, when... when have I ever once raised my voice with her? You know you can tell me anything. I, uh, talked to my sister about what you said the other day. And she agrees with me that maybe it's... Like, maybe it's be better for Ashley to earn some independence. Even if it's just for her sake, you know? And maybe for our sake, too. I think it's just be nice if you could stay over more often. And not like always cut things short or cancel on me so much. Sorry. I'm not reprimanding you. I can make her learn anything, so. No, no but it could, like, you know, not always go when she asks. If your sister needs something, wouldn't you go? Well, yes, but only she she but she only asks if she actually needs something. I suppose. So maybe she'll have said that. Or brought this up at all. No no, it's fine. I guess I'm still shook up uh, shook over what happened to your friend way back when. 
Actually, it might not look like it, but I think it affected her a lot too. So that's probably why she, she is how she is. I really don't get an impression at all. For someone so obnoxious, she's surprisingly difficult to read, isn't she? Mother, mother, she is difficult in general. Sorry, I didn't catch that. No, no, nothing, god. Anyway, I worry about something like that happening to her. Or happening to you. So I can let either of you out of my sight. Hey. I'll be fine if you're with me. Will she tie your hair up for me? Oh, heck no, you'll pull, pull on it again. Haha. <laughs> Oh, but don't you know it's her boy showed your love? Good boo. Well, it's just awful, hey? I suppose she still lingers. It hasn't been that long, I just gotta forget about her with all the chaos going on. You're never, you'll never see her again. And the fact that it doesn't really bother you, bothers you. I wonder what lies there. What lies on the other end? I'm really curious. Blood, huh? Interesting. Yes, thank you. What should I draw? I wouldn't want to hinder your artistic genius with my bad ideas. Um, good call. Well, whatever. Thank you. I'll give you a candle. Treat it carefully as it were, if it were me. I'm lighting it on fire. Not cool. That's fine for you. Ha, ha boo, you suck. I'm sorry. Got a candle. Oh, okay, so we can avoid killing her. All right. Let this focus on drawing. Oh. Well, bye bye, girlfriend. I send lit the candle. Uh oh. Oh, that, those are the dead people there. Fascinating. Financially in the close what? There you are, you menace. Hello. I'm missing that lame you cooked. I figured you have it. It's in your stomach, right? And mine. Are you going to cut me up to get it? I'd rather not. What do you need for it anyway? There's plenty of lames right behind you. That's true. So you're coming out of there? You're supposed to ask Lily to come out and play. I'm asking for Ashley. Then I'm not coming. Suit yourself. What? The w this one you had to get before he got you. It worries you someone wanted you that bad, badly enough to hire this guy. Get severed Liam. Oh, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. You killed this one to protect Ashley. No regrets. Back when he and his buddy still fed you, this one was always leering at her. Never mind, there's one regret. You wish you could have killed... Killed him slower. Ashley would have wanted to kill this one anyway. You couldn't leave any witness of her all. Still, you can even comprehend when there hasn't been any mention um, a mention of her on the news. Surely someone found her before the f fire burned the apartment down. Is there an investigation going on? Can this building back to you? Other than it, than that, it doesn't bother you. Wow, you're you're coping hard, aren't you? That's very interesting. Oh, so as long as it's, it's not the, per, the, per, the person that tries to kill us. Shit, uh, wrong one. I want to interact with a lot of stuff as possible. So yeah. Can I talk to her? No? Alright then, let's do this, shall we? Get a severed limb. Well met, young graves! Does so recon that my mortal frame was consumed by the flames? Forsooth, I do not. Me thinks the inert of a freezer do not combust perhaps chance it may cook but to burn, I know it's not. But really, the most foolish death did thou has ever committed was to leave mine own remains in thine own dwelling. Praise the heavens that some souls out to protect themselves and kindle the flame which engulf all. 
If he possess death's and limb, yet it doth not belong to me. For chance is of little consequences to thee. Little consequences, huh? Place all several limbs in the freezer. Just my name was something. Oh, yeah. They shall for they first shall forever linger in thy memory. Oh, how joyous this to be the initial spectacle of thy mutilation and cannibalism, young graves. Indeed. Yeah. Open it, Andrew. Why are you walking away, Andrew? Why are you so afraid of your consequences, of your actions, of the things you've done? Russian Shainina, haha. <laughs> Did you have fun night? I sure hope you learned your lesson. There's no answer. Huh, guess she's still sleeping. Is she? Congratulations, both of you. Amazing. Simply amazing. Lily kicks the crate. Wake up, sleepyhead. Come on, don't. You open the crate. Yeah. Uh, oops. Oops, indeed. Wait, 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 wait what? Why is she dead? How did... But the dread can be right. Oh, what's going on? Whatever. If you're so weak that you just like they like that, then clearly nature doesn't want you to leave. Wow. Sh shut up. Just shut up. Look at this. Let's just leave her here. Since you took the stick off, it looks like she went there on her own anyway. No, it doesn't. Why would she have clawed at the crate until her fingernails split if she was there willingly? Ah. Uh. Oh well. It's not like anyone knows she's here. Let's just leave her. Now she'll it'll, it'll start rotting, and uh, and someone will come looking and find her. I mean, her family was already looking for her. It's only a matter of time until they come check here. So what do we do then? Am I? For fuck. Let's just hide it then. What? Uh, huh? If no one knows, then it's not a problem. They're gonna know, Lily. They'll find the body and they'll know. And then they'll throw me in prison for the rest of my life. Me too, it's fine if it's the boss of both of us. No, no, you fucking fool. You don't get it, do you? Guy and girls don't go to the same prison. They're going to take you away from me. It, uh, is, is that is that a proper reason? Is that something that you need to talk about right now? How was I supposed to know that? If you're sending out then, since you're so smart. Okay, well, let's just... Like, move her somewhere. Yes, a grave. Let's dig up a grave for her. Alright, where? The grave family. <laughs> I love how the second chapter has uh, several applications. The grave of Andy Lindley. The whole situation being grave. Uh, the family name's grave and this grave thing. Anyway, anywhere in the forest she'll be fine. I mean, there's a park right outside. Yeah, there, there's probably fine. But first we need to rip her, her up in something. Because no one can see us carry her there. Marby curiously compels you to take a better look. And send regret. The drive over there, yeah. This one is to begin heavy. Plastic bags? Oh, alright then. This will have to do. Got tarp. You wrap Nina's corp inside the tarp and carry her away. Probably dragging her on the ground, huh? <laughs> I call the fine shovel, but I figure this wooden planks work too. I mean, they're kind of shovely, just watch for splinters. Splinters are the least of my words right now. Let's pick a good, easy dig spot. You got a wooden plank. Yeah. How do you live with these consequences, Andy Lily? Interesting. Very interesting, isn't it? Right here? Yeah. Maybe here, there doesn't seem to be any root in the, root in the way. I'm tired. Yeah, this is way harder than I thought it'll be. Isn't this deep enough already? A grave should be six feet, right? Forget it, she fits here just fine. I okay, fine. Is it? Is it though? There's nothing fine here, Andy. There's nothing fine at all. Hey, what do you mean when I eat today? I what? 
That's 1499. Uh, I was going to try to fry some fish sticks. Nice. He and Lily pushed the body into his grave. Terrifying. Oh, nice dirt. Crap, this doesn't look natural at all. Looks fine to me. Now there can be this this obvious of a spot. It needs to be hidden too. Wanna hide, hide it with some leaves and such? Some more foliage is needed. Got foliage. Got foliage. Foliage. No? No more? Foliage. Oh yeah, this looks so much better, huh? Also, this is all getting blown away by the next breeze. There's gotta be something in here in here to hold them in place. Rocks. Got stone. Yeah, stone, actually. No? Only one stone? Or then? Nice! Makes me want to write her name on it. Out of the question. I wasn't going to do to it, I was just saying. Scythe. Plus, you know, she's hidden. What if they find her? What if a police dog digs her up? Listen, forget it. I can't. Of course you can. You should know that if you think about something for a real long time, it's like it never happened. But it does happen. It do happen. Because you can't remember it anymore, but you do remember it, Andrew. You will fucking remember it the rest of your life. Let's forget all about it. Lily, I need you I need to know you won't say anything to anyone. Promise this stays between us. I just said we'll for forget all about it. You say one thing and do another. Promise me that this time you'll honest to God keep your mouth shut. I promise. I won't say anything. Hell, I'll never say even say her name again. What was it anyway? I don't remember anymore. Scythe. There they are. You'll be fine. Just kidding. I'm gonna tell on you. If you wanna do what I say, I'll tell everyone all about what you did. Who's going to play with you if I'm in jail? I'll send you letters. I can read your crappy hand writing. Guess you'll just have to do what I say then. Otherwise you'll be all alone in prison. I am your best friend from now on. You already were lately. Don't lie to me. I'm not, I think. Whatever, it's the enemy now. No one else will like you. Because you are bad. You're a bad person, Andy. But I won't tell anyone. Well, pot mit mit kettle. Hmm. Of course not, you'll be in trouble too. So what, no one likes me anyway. But it's fine, because you'll be around now. Good, you stupid, stupid girl. I've been here this whole time. God. None of this need needed to happen. You could have just... I know you don't like me. Gee, I wonder why. <laughs> I wonder why no one likes you, Ashley. And it seems to tick you off that no one likes you. Andy, I knew. But it doesn't ma matter anymore, because from now on, no one will like you either. So let's always be friends, okay? Be my friend or else. Scythe. I'll be whatever you want me to be. Really? Then from now on, let's always be together. Actually, I wonder if what will happen if Andrew is gone. He had a million things he wanted to say to this creature, none of which were pleasant. But absolutely nothing came out of your mouth. I don't really wonder what happened if Andrew disappears. Several days went by without a hitch, and you are all alone, Ashley. No one loves you anymore. No one's there to talk to you. Can I eat your ice cream? Go for it. Huh? Really? I can't seem to eat anything lately. Nom nom, why do they have to put this jam thing in strawberry ice cream? Gross. I wish there was no jam. You should have the capacity to care. Has anyone asked you about anything about things? Yeah, my teacher asked everyone in class officer came by to you. And did you say anything? Nope. I'll ask Julia if she was expecting to see anyone the other day. <laughs> wow, you're really taunting Julia, huh? Why? You know, because a certain someone told her mom she wants to study with Julia. 
So I think maybe she thought Julia she was gonna come see you instead. Well, did she? I don't know, because I didn't want to just come out and ask. But Julia said she was missing family that day, so I doubt she had any idea. Your promise has been fucking nothing. Huh? Why are you being so cold to me? You're worse than you were before, jackass. I gave you my ice cream, yeah, I'm a jackass. Alright, I see how it is. You're still pinning for that bitch. Hmm, interesting. Interesting train of folks. Here we fucking go again. She's dead. Yet you're still all about her, aren't you? It's never good enough. What a snake. I bet she died and proposed. What? I need a knife. Huh? Where are I going? Getting in something. Something interesting. Rude. Uh, where was the kitchen anyway? Oh, there was the kitchen. Someone's being interviewed TV. Your success story is such an inspiration, inspiration to us all. Before starting your study company, you used to be a surgeon, isn't it right? That's right, Mark. I'm actually a doctor. So trust me, one can of taxi soda a day keeps me far, far away. <laughs> when even the doctors tell me to indulge, how can I not? Ha ha ha. Surely it's not only up from here. What plans do you have for the future? Well, first of all, with such great demand comes a great need for water. Which is why I partnered up with several water distribution company companies. I hope this is the start of a long-lasting friendship we are. We will if you ramble on and on. You're left there's absolutely nothing about any dead girls being found. Ah, hello, Dad. Hello, son. Hi, Dad. Silence. Bye, Dad. Oh, no, 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 I'm not jumping. H huh? Right, it's just a job. I can always find another. Never said it was too good for that one, anyway. Hey, wait, you got fired? Well, life goes on, I guess. Precious, precious life. We're all important Anders. It's Andrew. Scythe. I'll go see what they've got for me at the unemployment office. Great Hulk, son. Okay. There's no need to leave the house. Missing. Yeah. Hey, that's your face. We can see it now. How does it feel to be a murderer, Andrew? You pick a knife from the sink and give it a quick wash. What are you planning to do with it? What are you doing in the knife? Briefly wonder if killing her will be worth it. I'm going to make a blood oath to you. But in turn you'll have to promise me something too. Okay. Keep my secret and I'll keep you company. And what if I don't? Good question. Guess. Ha! Huh, you're all bark. You will then do anything. If you'll read my life anyway, what reason is there for me to keep your appearance? Moreover, I'm doing this for you. And what happens if you if you break the promise? I won if you won. I'm not buying that. Lily, you are a miserable, loathsome, loathsome being that has wormed its way into every aspect of my life. And for that, my heart will always have a rotten, moldy, sore spot just for you. Make of that what you will. I mean, I'll take it, but sheesh. I, gentle, you asshole. How does one cut, cut someone gently? A better man will know. Whatever. And thus she forever keeps her mouth shut. Only as long as you keep your eyes closed. Huh? Let's know, let know who's still our gaze, it's just us now. I said be around, I never said there will be there wouldn't be others. Uh, wait, no! I wanna do over! Too late, I promise is a promise. Andy, that's not fair! Ah, oh, don't be like that. I'll make you a priority, just not the only... It's not enough, why can't you just... Kill our parents? 
Interesting. Hold on, that's not what you said back then. Do it for your cute little sister, I know you want to. Kill them to solve all your problems. Kill them to feel something. Kill them for food. Kill them to avoid the things if we all did here if we don't. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> Luke who's awake, good morning. Or night, it's still night time. What do you want, you little creep? Give our mom and dad to the demon. Right now. Right now, while you're asleep, we'll set up the ritual and do it. I've been given you plenty enough time to figure this out, yet you haven't. So now we're doing it my way. Okay. Oh, oh my, my efforts were far more effective than I thought. Welcome back, Andy. That's not it. But you have a point that mom might snitch on us. I know that even before we get out of our apartment. I don't know why I let myself think anything else after talking to her. It's because at your core, you're just a soft, gooey marshmallow. If it weren't for me, all kinds of vile women will have gobbled you up already. Chomp? Ha, what are you doing? A demonstration. God, you're so fucking dumb, I should. Andrew, are you still awake? Yeah, yeah, why are you still up? I thought you had work tomorrow. I wanted to talk to, talk you, to you without Ashley. It's not really a good time right now. Look, I know it's late, but it's important. I've been thinking things over and believe I own you an explanation. That's alright, I don't really need to know. I'm real tired. No, I, I want to know. Andrew, I understand if you're angry, but at least listen. The whole situation with Ashley was... Hello. Oh. Oh, go on, Mom. Don't mind little old me. For the love of God, this had been... Better not be what it looks like. Ha, huh, whatever. How does this look to you? Where did you get... What is it looking like now, Mom? Ashley, come on. Ashley, put that away. There's no need for this. Be quiet and start walking. We're going to the basement. And don't get any funny ideas because I will shoot. Andrew, go get a rub or something. I'm trying to be... I'm tying this bitch up. And then kill that. You did not need to be told that, size. Uh, wh what, what do you want to say? I'm curious. Kitchen knives. The cooking book. How many endings does this game have? Gee, I... Can we still hop up? We can still hop out. <laughs> rope, huh? Where do we get rope? Trash bags? Trash bins? Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, obviously, there's nothing here. Or is there? No, nothing. Interesting. A purse. Is there a rope here? No. All right then. This <laughs> is. Oh, yeah, there's a rope in here. There's some rope in the along with other equipment. I wonder if this is fine. And you- I see untangled rope from everything else. Oh, shit. Nice one, Butterfingers. Son? What on earth are you doing? Oh, sorry, I need to, uh... There's absolutely no good explanation as to where you're imaging through their sex toys. And the truth, I want to tie mom up doesn't sound any better. I want to fuck myself? Oh, yeah, that'll do. Where's your mother? She went to get something from the basement. Actually, I think she could use some help. Confess your father goes to check on your mother. Got rope. Maybe she'll hang herself with it. Maybe. Maybe it's a good idea. Honey, is everything alright? You take out your cleaver. Really? What is going on? 
Andrew, weren't you supposed to be Master Rat? <laughs> Are you? <laughs> I'm crying and shaking. Just walk down. Slow and steady. Get here further up with the rope. You can help but notice some old rope burns on his wrist. Ah. Better not to dwell on it as you rather not visualize how they came to be. Let's go. Pegging time. Vinegar. Surely this is a cellar mob. Functionally toilet. Alright. It would be funny if we just press the toilet multiple times. Here be screwdrivers. Get Christmas light? What? Why? Here be candles. Anyway, if that scream, I'll shoot. Why are you doing this? No, no, either. Just shut up and wait. Why are you here? Did you find anything to tie her up with yet? Hurry up and find some rope. Oh, no, 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 wait. What? What do you want to talk about? You tell your mom using Christmas light. So this is what your life has come to. Alright, good. Now do you remember how to firm the reach you? Hold up. Mom, what's the pin for your credit card? Is this what? What is this about? Money? I got this for just for a quick buck. What's the pin and where's the card itself? It's in my purse. She tells you the pin and you scribble down no, down note. Okay then, I'm gonna go and try this now. I show you sorry here and don't do anything. That depends on them. If she gave me the wrong pin and you end them, then what? Again, it depends on if they behave or not. Scythe. Alright. I'll be quick. What do you want to talk about? I wish I could go with you, but someone has to keep an eye on Stu. Did she find her purse yet? Got credit card. Whoa, 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 what are you doing here? Get back downstairs. I'm not gonna try anything. You just say, okay. You know, it takes one of them to start screaming for this whole thing to blow up in your faces. It's amazing how cooperative a person is with a gun pointed at him. Yes, I go point it. I'll be right back. Yes, yes. Come on out with it. I need to get going. Here with me on this, right? Sacrificing them. Didn't I already say so? Well, you have a habit of flip flopping. Play. Fuck. Huffed, huh? Look, just trust me, Ashley. We are doing this. Hey, you're the best. Come back soon. Are we? Yeah, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. You're Ashley. Well, Andrew's busy picking up the money you decided to set up the ritual, or at least what you remember of it. Let's see, I think it's involved blood candle and cannibalism. I don't think cannibalism is needed, but what? There is rune scandals and blood, obviously. Music rune. No, there's music runes and. Uh, fuck. The it's mixed up. It there's need to be music, I'm pretty sure, right? And there's something in flower with blood, set up some candle, and then we ate the cultists. No, wait, we had the cultists before we did the ritual. Oh, whatever, it involved candle and blood anyway. Let's start with that. First thing first, I need some blood to draw with. Come on now, Andrew trusts you to keep an eye on your parents. Sure, the song is banger. Get a kitchen knife, a dish rack in a blender, a cooking boot. Now you can leave, you have to prisoner to keep watch off. You can you can leave your parents unsupervised, that's so funny. Rubber gloves, vinegar. This mob, it's it is a work of art. Why are we keep pressing the mob? Can we pr press the toilets or something? Alrighty, so here's what's going to happen. I'm gonna get one of you to draw some blood. And if you scream, I'll blow both of your brains out. How about that? Just take the money and go. What do you need our blood for? Oh, so now you care what I'm about. Don't you fucking act like I haven't tried with you, Ashley. You're the one who shut me out. But even then, I've stuck my neck out for you all this time. Oh, like that time when you left me to start for three months. Was that you looking out for me? Oh, gee, thanks. You know, got them well what I'm talking about. I never told anyone what you little psychos did to that girl. Oh, so you knew. Ha, huh, what are you on about? Take your meds. I knew you and Andrew did something to the classmate of yours who went missing. I knew it the second she was found dead near that warehouse you used to play at. Ha, <laughs> whatever. If I didn't love you, I could have rid myself of you right then and there. 
When it comes to being a mother, I'm a fucking saint, actually, a saint. Ah yes, a pattern of saint covering one own ass. Do you have any idea what they would have done to you if they found out? No, then, you're a paragon of virtue, let's see whose blood I shall use. Which one do you cut? What? This is an option. Oh. Uh, honey? It's fine, don't worry about me. Yeah, she will- she wouldn't worry about you in return. Got blood. Alright, let's see here. Yes, I'm gonna that. Now let's finish drawing this masterpiece. Look, Emma, I draw a circle. You even know what a circle is because it's not that. <laughs> the nerve of you! Never! You never! No, no, don't let her get a rise out of you now. Candles, 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 candles. C handles. Well, where, where are we cutting candles? The expression of her face, too. Four candles? I'm pretty sure it was three candles, but you know, right? And maybe the, matter, the number of candles is not important. Alright, that's all the candles I had. Welcome back! Andrew, give us a hug! You have a, you have a draw limit on your card. I do. You do. I could only get a couple hundred before it locked me out. Ha! Suck it, bitch. <laughs> Damn. Being insufferable runs in the family. Yeah. It is. Yeah, well, guess what? Now we all get to witness the wonder of customer service. Get up, you have a call to make. I should take her to the phone. You drove your gun. You owe me a hug. What's with you, What's with you tonight? I thought you grew out of this touchy feel crap. There's just a lot going on. I mean, if you need one, sure, but it's a bit, you know, with the audience. Haha! Uh -huh. Never mind, clearly you're just fine. Forget it. Forget this. There's a phone in the living room, get to it. Off we go. Drain. Hmm, screwdrivers. This mob is incredible! <laughs> what? Who? Why is. Why are you spending time pressing the fucking mob rubber gloves? I didn't fucking get it. Wait, where's the phone? There's the phone. I'm not even pointing the gun at you. The cooking book. Well, is that important right now? Here in luck, the customer service line has just opened for a day. Yet somehow there's already a million hour wait. So guess what, you wait. Uh huh. Please hold, our representative will be with you as soon as possible. Please hold, our representative will be with you as soon as possible. Please hold, our representative will be with you as soon as possible. Roughly a quarter million later, mother get a hold of someone. I'm sorry, let me just confirm. You said you want to remove the draw limit altogether? That is what I said, yes. Wow, that's crazy! What if your cards get stolen? Indeed. I'm not at all being held at gunpoint here. Ha ha! <laughs> Damn. There we go, your gold. Is there anything else I could help you with? Apparently not. Oh, then, have a nice day, Mrs. Graves. No, it's back in the basement with you. And I think for a second I didn't see the sun you were trying to pull there. It was just small dog. Besides, they can do shits. They don't do shits, you know. Uh, Alright then. I don't feel like doing this, but fuck. Oh, wow, you draw the circles, Andrew. No, is there no way to escape faith? Is there no way to escape destiny? Just all living in this fucking nightmare of life. Uh, mob? This mob is incredible! I love it. Incredible mob. Grab your skirt off as function toilet. The car should be free now. Unlike your mother who made her quickly taste back. That's looking at what you've set up here. I'll just say it's not quite there, is it? Yeah, I don't remember what the little ruins look like anymore. 
And your murder is such shit. So I already figured this much, so I sketch them out for you. And then you use the dirty inside th themselves, there's blood right here. Because you might have a good reason for not drawing them yet. Oh, it's fair, whatever, it gives me the card. I'll go pick up the rest of the money. I really, really don't like the idea of you wandering around all by yourself this hour. It's already morning, though. So. Well, yeah, but I mean still. Just hand me the card, I... Hand me the card, I... Actually, can I really leave Andrew alone with mom and dad? Who knows what they'll say to him, and he's wishy-washy enough as it is. Ashley, you wonder if you can trust Andrew enough to leave him alone with your parents. Save game? Trust him. Fuck like that. I kind of wonder what they want to say. Just give me the card. I'll go get the money. Get credit card. Please be careful. Aren't I always? When are you ever? Huh, see you later. I'll be fine. He won't turn on me as long as I have the trinket. As long as you have the trinket. You're Andrew. There's nothing you can do about the missing audio, but as you can draw the missing runes. Now, where did Ashley get all this blood? You don't see the cut? And you're still questioning after <laughs> this mob is incredible. Trying to sacrifice your parent, huh? Cut blood. Is she making you do this? No. Are you going to kill us? Come on, of course not. Technically, anyway. Then, what is all this witchcraft looking nonsense? Just let her scare you a little. We'll leave you alone for that, how about it? It's hard to say whether she believes you or not. Your father doesn't have anything to say. He has always, always been like that, just going along with your mother's whims. It hits you then that you are just like him. Yeah. God damn it. Indeed. Are we not going to talk anymore? Oh, uh, let me go upstairs, actually, because I'm curious if there's other stuff that we could pick up, you know? No? Nothing. Nothing at all. A cooking book. Alright, wait, give me a moment to pause, because I want to check my recording if I can still record the game. Okay, so, uh, yeah, my, my storage is running low, I'm, I'm just checking that. So, we can go to you, but woof. Danger is low. It's episode two, surprisingly, is very, very long. There's something I tried to talk to you about earlier. I don't really care, honestly. About Ashley. What is it? I wanted to apologize to you. For always making you look after her, that was wrong of me. It's fine. Can you imagine what it was like for me back then? When I was your age, I was already stuck with a seven and a five year old to care for. <laughs> Damn. Think you have fared better than me? I don't know. This isn't an ex excuse, mind you, it's an explanation. I never hated you, it was just a fuck up. Really? really? Wow. But don't say that, honey, we did fine. Ha, huh, so fine, look where we are right now. Anyway, you were such an easy child, I thought we'd be just fine having another. I wasn't counting on Ashley to be so... I'm sorry I met you, Razor. I thought you were getting along, so I didn't want to see what was happening. And for that, I apologize. It's all my fault, I apologize. Well, it is what it is. It doesn't have to be. I think we can still sort this out. Is that right? If it's money you need, I can help you get a job. They're hiring at your company, aren't they, love? That's right, if I put in a good word for you, you're as good as hired. Before one though, they get a lot of difficult customers there. But I know you can handle it. Should be easy after handling Ashley all the time. What do you say? Your parents are offering you an olive branch. This is a second save game part? Decline? Let's go to the path that we might see being bad at first. Well, but Ashley. I wish you wouldn't talk about her that way. Well, let's not fight. There's a solution here somewhere, I'm sure. What were those death certificates about anyway? It's a life insurance scam, nothing more. How's that, how's that work? I mean, it is a life insurance scam, Andy. I don't see how you're judging that, considering what all you did. There's this doctor, well, a surgeon, actually. 
After they told us you'll be second in this apartment, we got rejected to him. Ah, the owner of the soda company. And as far as record go, you died from the parasites. I don't even know I had any life insurance. Well, I got it for you too after you got quarantined. I was kind of curious that they let you do that. So then, when we died, were you in on it? Of course not, I really thought you died. They said your body said to be burned because of the parasite, so that's why I never got to confirm it myself. Ah. Just full of shit. Where are you going? I have to finish setting this, setting these things up for her. Ah, oh, come on, forget about this nonsense. We can start recommend out. Hell, you can even leave here if that doesn't work out. You can leave this whole mess behind you, just like that. That's okay, I'm not really interested. What? But that, that doesn't make any sense. Why would you not? I get it. You fuck her. What? Huh? Damn. No, oh, that is disgusting, Andrew. She's your sister, for God's sake. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. I haven't done anything. What the hell, mom? Then what does she give you to, that makes it worth all this? Well, that's none of your business, is it? I need something myself. How did I fuck up so bad? I'm the worst mother ever. I mean, yes, you are, but I have never. I'm back. Now of all times. I got money. Did you miss me, handsome? Did you? Did you? Yeah. I want to die. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever, summon the fucking demon already. I'll say, girl, let's see if it shows up though. Since there's no music. Wait, what are you talking about? Quite you, I'm still armed. And you light the candles. <laughs> oh, okay, you're following me. Goodbye, I guess. Uh, something else up, sir? Oh, we can go upstairs still. But I guess there's nothing much to do here, right? It's just exploring around randomly, aimlessly here. I wonder how many choices, how many endings are there? If only there's a specific, uh, at least like a crumble of bread of guide of how many endings are there. That will be really helpful, but unfortunately no, which is damn a shame. Alright, get to it. You are Ashley. Hmm? Nice. Oh, we need to send her? Alright then. Ahem. Hello, hello, Mr. and Mrs. Demon. I'm sorry I didn't have the mute music, but I have the other stuff you ask for. Just answer. Maybe I sing something. Please don't. Mercifully, the demon shows up to spare everyone from the second hand embarrassment. <laughs> Her soul. What the fuck is that? I've heard this too. They're screaming in short leaf as the Germans steal their soul. Ah, I wonder if I should feel something. Well, anyway, so the music wasn't need to summon you, needed to summon you after all. Why do I have to play it last time then? The circle is hard to find. <laughs> Sound is easy to follow. However, you have my talisman now, it makes you easy to find. Speaking of which. Adios, adios. Charge it up, please. Your trinket works again. Thank you. What? What? Hello. This is the brother. That's right, my pride and joy. And no, you can have his all. It's mine. I will see you again, Tart Soul. Sure, I'll make another offering once the trinket needs to be charged again. I will summon you. Oh, that's different. Bring this one with you. What? What? Me? Why? Okie dokie, bye bye! The entity leaves. And that's it, the tr trinket is charged. Why did it mean I'll summon you? Who cares, what do we do about the bodies? Who cares, she says, are you kidding me? The bodies, Andy, focus. Right, the bodies, uh. Well, on one hand, we didn't kill them. But on the other, they um, haven't gone missing, will definitely be better for us. Maybe they just fuck off somewhere, who knows? I mean, I'll if there's some other investigation. Right, so let's make them disappear. Right, we can start by chopping them up. Can we just stem them in the ocean or something? Naturally, we're going to make them vanish, not wash up ashore somewhere. Rubber gloves. This mob is incredible! <laughs> How about this? We can leave the mess behind. Well, there's a drain right there. Alright, you are. See, I'm not a damn mess all the time. 
No, just dumb and an ass. Wow, check out this smart ass right here. Enters undoing the parents but stops. Wait, wait, what? What is it? Is that breathing? You take a look and sure enough, his chest is moving ever so slightly. Ah, he is! Mom too! Oh. You're traversing, but nothing gets respond from parents. Yet their hearts still beat, their lungs draw in here. Oh god, what is this? Maybe losing your soul just turns into a vegetable? That can be, the coldest died in the warden too. Well, I mean, did you actually check? Huh. <laughs> I sure didn't. I just went down and started chopping. No, 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 please tell me he wasn't still alive when he ate him. Haha. <laughs> what the fuck is so funny about this? Come on now, I'm sure he died pretty quickly from blood loss. If not, you ripping his head off must have done the trick. Always same with this too, get the cutting. No, that this changed everything, doesn't it? You want to leave them like this, they're not getting their souls back. So if you want to leave them to starve, I'm all for it. Well, then it'd be a little poetic, I'm sure you like that. I don't know, I need to think. Oh, come on. Where are you going? No, dude, look, look here for a second. What? They got your father too. What are you doing? There, all that. Now tell me again how I always make you do all the dirty works. Hell bitch and moan. Surely he'll bitch and moan as, as per usual. But he need, did not miss that side of really. Anyway, you drag your parents' soulless and lifeless body over to the shower. Well. Alright, start cutting. You get the blood in the drain when the shower head. Gotcha! Oh, stop, stop! Stop, it's loading! Huh? Oh, what the hell, gross! Oh, great, the drain's clogged up. And the lid's screwed shut. I need a screwdriver. You just keep chopping in the bodies. I'll get you something to unclog drain with. Uh, wow, okay. Got a screwdriver. How do you unclog this thing anyway? I ran scared you late. We can pour down some baking soda and vinegar down the drain. Okay then. I'm going to need a screwdriver, some baking soda, and vinegar. I have to uh, vinegar. Vinegar, baking soda? Baking soda? Baking soda. Baking soda. What? That's not it? Huh. Is it upstairs? Is it in the kitchen? Is it here? No, it isn't. Fascinating. Check up gonads, get baking soda. The cooking book. Well, here we go. And there's gonna do the night. Pour in some vinegar? Wrong, the baking soda goes first. Who got this shit? You pour down the ginger someone baking soda and then dose it with vinegar. Okay then. The soda starts bubbling up, but the clock doesn't less than one bit. Oh, we tried. I'll get you some rubber gloves. I'm the one who's gonna have to get in there. And of course, I'm better than the little lady. You can accept me to do the man's job. Wow. Fine, just get me the gloves. Get the rubber gloves. Here you go, have fun. And then endure the rubber gloves. It takes out God knows what I would dream. And seemingly never ending amount of God's know what. Oh god, that is disgusting. I'm gonna gag. You're not helping. Fuck, that's gross, Andy, huh? Ball of you, call. <laughs> what are you doing? Call me that when I'm armed. Uh, you wouldn't. Come here, you. No, 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 don't you dare. Now I'll fucking kill you in your sleep. Any last words? Forgive me, Andrew. Andrew, I'm sorry, I apologize. Fine, you're spared for now. The drain works, let's get this over with. You and your brothers remember your parents. And disembowel them. And decapitate them. You also make a mental note to yourself about Andrew. It's not of a skill thing between figuring out a better deal like you expecting him to. Yeah. Who is it? What? No, nothing, Andrew. <laughs> okay. If you try, I can take care of the rest. But no, it's really nothing. I must be seeing things. Oh, uh, what? You think I ever be this bear witness to you being distraught over our parents' corpse? Oh, right. Then again, I bet you're just moving over, finally getting your hands dirty. And, uh, you? Hum, what? Are you doing alright? As alright as it can be, considering the circumstances. That's good. You're being weird. Lucas talking. Are you afraid, Ashley? 
Are you afraid of your consequences of your action? Probably not. Ha! Huh. Alright, enough time wasted. And you're gonna casually, casually butchering your parents. Incidentally, there's a knot in your stomach. Now there's a knot for you. So what's the plan for all this? Where to, where to dispose of it all? Yeah, yeah, but how? Well, we'll use whatever means available in the house. Let's look around and see what we can do. Get a pile of organs. Got a head. Got all the limbs. This is, that is a lot of limbs. Got torso times two. Got a head. Don't lose it. Losing this will cost you an arm and a leg. Wow, okay. This thing... The things you put in your pockets. Ew. Interesting. Washing it? <laughs> Does that work? Of course not. It wouldn't work. Uh, Down the drain? No. That's stupid. Soil. Hot? Potted plant? Like, they wouldn't check the potted plant, would they? Wouldn't they? TV? Put it inside the TV? A goopy TV? Fridge? You can't... You cut limbs into me. Okay, you got chopped meat. Just skin the head. Got face time to school times too. What do you do with your face? Make mask out of them? I don't know. Throw them in the fireplace. And what about skulls? Well, the skulls we can deal with later, along with all our bones. Skull? Face? <laughs> Kinda ugly. You pour your parents are in blender and blend away. Whoa! Several serving of cream and smoothie energy. Uh oh, damn. All of which you pour down the kitchen sink. How's that? Good as gone. I'm generally surprised you know for me, Annie. What? Did you want disease or something? You already eat. Oh, okay. Of course I wouldn't offer your own meat. You really take me for a fool, don't you? I take you for what you are, fool. Watch your mouth. This fool just poured your parents down the drain. Alright, that was pretty smart, I guess. For a fool. I know, let's turn some of the meat in the soup. Turn some vegetable and maybe spices. And then throw the rest away as scraps. What do you mean the rest? What do you think? I'm eating some. Do you what do you want? What was the soup you made earlier? And what were the ingredients again? The recipe is right there, read it. Shame on me for thinking be helpful. It was meat, onion, potatoes, and carrots. Chop everything up and throw them in the pot. Ah, uh, there we go, thank you. I didn't even memorize it, you fucking nerd. You're welcome. You don't have all the ingredients prepared. Wow, okay. Uh, so we go straight back to cannibalism again. Woohoo! Perfect. Oh, can we burn the bodies here? It'll be like cremation. There's no way to make sure everything's get high enough. Woohoo! Watch! You place the doors up before every place, and the size but light the fire for you. Well, would you like that? Nothing is happening. Give me a minute, goddamn. This isn't working. He's me kinda hungry, though. So yeah, let's leave this be for now. You try to face into fire, too. <laughs> what the fuck? Interesting. No? Alright then. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Uh, this is so stupid. Trash? All oh, the parents might belong to trash. It isn't a good idea to bring them in here as they are. Maybe if the bodies look less conspicuous. Conspicuous? Maybe dumb it to your neighbor's house. Blame your neighbor for it. I don't know. I mean, it's not like you can live here anymore, like right? For longer. Well, 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 look at that. The plant that you grew are used to cook you alive. So that's kind of bad. Shame. Sad. What do you mean I don't have all the ingredients prepared? Ah. Okay. Look at that. Much better than your soup. Now, is there anything else we still need to deal with? No? Your soup is brewing. I, 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 Do you think the soup is ready yet? I mean, they're, they're school, so... Dinner's ready. I'm eating too. Of course, this is the last hearty home-cooked me meal for a while after all. I suppose. That's right, that's right, uh, we could just eat normal meal. What? Uh, unexpected. Well, well, how is it? Maybe you just don't use to be Andrew doing this, huh? It's okay. It's okay. I mean, it's better than us, I'm bad. Why are you so picky? It's really dry, you overcook it or something. 
Mom is just a dry person, alright? And how the hell is it dry? This is soup! No, mom should be more salty. This is just bland and dry. I read this. Waste of ingredients out of hand will not again eat again. Guess you will retract that statement at once. I mean, you can eat it again, after all, right? Just one time. As life in the kitchen for you, and this is the thanks I get. I'm sorry you can cook. You're not forgiven. Oh. Check us, it shit and die. Well, this wood is certainly she. But come on, I'm joking. It's not bad, it's fine. More than fine. Yes, yes, it's fantastic in ma in a way my dumbass can appreciate. How about that? Um, why, yes indeed, this cooking is beyond my mortal comprehension. Correct. And out of this world culinary experience, which the likes of me cannot even taste properly. Because my taste buds simply aren't involved enough to sense all the subtleties. Truly, when I say waste of ingredients, I mean it's a waste to feed it to me. Food of this caliber should only be fit to kings, no gods. That's more like it. So excuse it in your cooking that I will write you a shitty poem about it. Oh god, ha! Huh? Lo and behold, I implore you, come feast your eyes on her, oh and there is food to you. Please hear where soul she's brewed a broth to give you quite a fright. There must be magic on her fingertips to cook such a delight. And yet the meat is drier than her lips quarter past ma midnight. Shall I buy Oli Balm? <laughs> And the meat isn't dry, goddamn, it's just right. Haha. <laughs> ah, whatever, humans are hard to cook. I'll get it next time. What? Next time? Ah, whatever, anyhow. I think we've dealt with flesh to, be to the best of our abilities. But we still need to do something about the bones. Well, first of all, I need to ditch the leftover soup. Well, you do that, I'll clean the kitchen. Yes. It should be fun to just chuck this in the trash bin outside, right? Is it human soup? Could have been better, yeah. Cool. I'm, wait, I'm screenshotting this. Don't worry too much about someone seeing you throw away the soup. As long as you don't look nervous, no one will think anything of it. Are you talking to yourself right now? Ah. Right, what's, what was I thinking? You wouldn't even worry when I told you. Your inability to grasp the weight of the situation is simultaneously your best and worst quality. Yes, indeed. Am I recording, actually? Am I recording? Let me check. I am recording. I've really come to our city lately, though it pisses me off all the same. Thank you. Ah, uh, yep. Damn, Mr. Stone. I just just ignore your not all and all subtle insults. Haha. -ha. Yes. So, still burning? Still burning. Throw away the leftover human suit. You're Andrew. I need to figure out what to do with all the bones. For now, I just collect them all before I should lose track of them all. Got plastic bags. Simple soup recipe, chop ring up, blah 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 blah, bone. Plastic bag. Car keys, employee key, lighter, plastic bag. Nothing about it, huh? We can bury the bones in the backyard, no? Oh, that one is dry. Oh, I, I think that was someone getting revived, the water getting revived. The flesh had burned the car called, but the bones remain. Got bones. He put them in one of the plastic bags. Fascinating. No, are we not burying them here? Clock the drain? No. Ah. So what do we do about the skulls? I th think of throwing those into the ocean along with the rest of the bones. So much for making them disappear, huh? What do we do all this other crap for? Quite you, as long as the teeth are removed, it should be fine. Based on what logic? The uh, dental records, I guess. You guess? How nice. Forgive me, oh beloved, for I have never gotten rid of a body before. I'm hoping one can find someone best on their bones load. Oh, uh, your bones are flat though. Aren't they kind of like steaks? I'll find something to wait in them just in case. You may find your parents' teeth using the screwdriver. Got a whole bunch of teeth. Cannot be exchanged for mon <laughs> money? What? Alright then. Bones. Bones, bones, bones. Got to the school. So we lose the teeth, make the bones with some rocks, and call it a day. Got it! 
Now you've got to find a way to get rid of them. It's cool. Yep. It's cool, but deathless. Yes. So. No? Hmm. No? What? Uh, what? Am I missing something? Got some rocks. You play oh, you place them in one plastic bag. So of course, the rocks. How could I forget? That's actually a pretty small detail because I don't think we need to pick rocks immediately right now. Alright then. So, yeah. Let's do this. Anyway, you're gonna end about thin but what? Of course I do. Huh? This mob is incredible. Car? Are we supposed to go the car? I don't get it. No, we don't. Uh my brain is Buzzing here. We got all the bones, right? We got all the bones, right? Have you no regret? Ah, <laughs> uh, Andrew, Andrew, Andrew. Really? Do you need more stone or something? Huh. What? Did I do something bad? Did, did I mistake something? What? Good gosh. Maybe somewhere near here. No. You flush the toe. Ah, flip. Takes a few tries. To, for them all to flush. They're all gone. You should do this all to all your problems. How am I supposed to know that? But alright. Finally, all the remains I was going up the basement. Uh, do we have to? Yes, obviously. Why, we, we'll have to discover someone again later anyway. Huh? Why would it have to be here? You're going to live here, right? We just have to keep paying our rents, parents' rent, or whatever. I wish you could, but eventually someone is going to go, Hey, Mrs. Graven showed up to work in a while. So they get fired, so what? And a better of their boss will care enough to file a missing person report. There's also the fact that they apparently mingled with the people here. The neighbor will notice them gone despite their names still being on the door. We can tell some lies, say we're house watching for our parents and so on. Listen, not everyone gives zero shits like you. They have co-worker friends or families beside us. What a bunch of whores, we weren't happy with just each other's damn. I didn't play the fuck any of them. Irrevel irrelevant, it's all seen. Anyway, they can all go haven't heard from those in a while, oh well. Someone's gonna come looking with the authorities. And who will they find here? The children who didn't report their parent missing. And their children who are supposed to be dead. I was there ask, how the fuck aren't you dead anyway? If you don't want to stay here, just say so. It's not that I don't want to, I just don't think we can. We can at least use their idea. Well, can we at least use their idea? We can be the new and improved Mr. and Mrs. Graves. We ran into the same problem as with our own ideas. Once our third start looking for them, they'll see what we've been up to with theirs. Scythe. Sorry, Ashley, I wish it was there. That easy. Whatever, I clean the basement then. You are Ashley. God, I mean, I don't think we were in the clear for all this. No, you will never be in the clear. Whatever, I gonna need the mob. <gasps> Finally! The incredible mob? Hell yeah! Got an excellent mob? No, I thought it was an incredible mob. You were lying to me. Cool. Huh? What is that? Oh, that. Shall I put the candle bags in the box too? For another time sacrifice? Or then? There's another candles in the box. That's all. It's clean, right? Rumor has it that there was once a brilliant mob here. No, brilliant mob. It's in our hands now. 
A brilliant mob person. No, it's not. Oh, wait, it's there. Oh, no. Flavor text. Are you serious? After all this time? How could you? Hold on, I'm ready to go. I think so. So there's no way to tell if we miss something still. I don't know, maybe you see you have a dream where we cough, I guess. After this all, that stands the reason I have at least two visions to come. How about I take a nap and see if, the, if a disaster awaits us? Please do. Pop, 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 pop. Sleep time. So, what are the conditions to get a vision? As in, what did you even say about it, exactly? Hell, if I remember. You don't. Err. Could you possibly give in a less of a fuck? That'd be great. Ah, uh, do forgive me, your highness. It's been a week or two. And up yours, you didn't even remember your parent address. Which is, of course, just as important as this is. Look, it's just say that I need to hold onto it to have clairvoyant dream. That's it. It was in my pocket last time when it happened. Then it could... Could I hold it this time? It gave it to me, so maybe it wouldn't work with you? What, what's it hurt to try? God, you can't read between the lines for shit. That was telling you no. That was me telling you no. I did get it, I just don't care. Stop being so selfish all the time and let me try. It's my trinket. Ever heard of sharing? How am I supposed to share this? Do you want to cut the trinket in half? I'm not sh I'm sure that's a great idea. Oh, now you're, you're giving a fuck. No, just... We're not cutting it. That's not it, but I'm sure we can both hold it at the same time. See if either of us get a vision. Oh, it's a bit small. Bit in our hands, right? Oh my, how romantic. Come again. Holding hands when we sleep together. Man, fuck off. <laughs> Alright, forget this. Good night. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, it's fine. But I still think I'm gonna be the only one who has a vision. We'll see. Good night. Good night. Haha. <laughs> Fuck this. How am I supposed to slip after you went and said something soft color? Haha. <laughs> and doesn't help all mom said something outrageous too. Oh uh, yeah, heard that. You did, huh? So that that's what that little show was about earlier. You see her face, that was great. I she regretted her entire life just then. Pretty sure she just regretted giving birth to us. I'll take it. If for once she regretted the birth of us, then I'm happy. What? Nothing, good night. It isn't long until sleep takes you over. Huh. What is it all about then? Cat Pink Plushie. A pink plushie sits amongst the paper. What? How does that work? Wow, who drew all this garbage? Orange... Pink plushie... King? A second drawing. Here. Ah, 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 I see how it is. Did you want to turn on? We need the thing. Cat red crayon. Nothing but static. Right here? Yeah, right here. Oh, nothing else? No. There's a flavor text for the crane, right? No? There isn't. Got blue crayon. Now, which one is this for? Right side, left side, or what? Give pink plushie all the crayons. Ah, that's it. Well, blinking light is not good. Hello. The TV and you watch each other. More important, this is the style Lily and Lily alone. Ah. Mother plushie won't budge. Got a green plushie. Father plushie won't budge. Got a stool. A pink plushie said by itself. Pink plushie. Let's done pink plushie. A dinner plate sits on the floor. What? What is the meaning of all this? Hmm? 
Oh, can I can I not leave? Pink blushy fell off the seat. Let's turn green plushy. The plushy seems to happy together. Indeed. The chest is locked. The trash is locked. Purple plushy one batch. Yellow plushy one batch. Got a green plushie. Oh, you're angry? Are you angry? Place the green plushie. This plushie appears to be quite a ladies man. Yeah, I think I recognize the color. Purple C. <laughs> Place the purple. Nothing happens. Yellow. Try yellow plushie in the place. A bit of visual thingy, perhaps. Look away the purple plushie. No, it is exactly where it belongs. Super super brain, though, it seems to be missing sustenance. Oh, yeah, the soup, huh? Got dead plushie, mom plushie, fire. Your mom and dad push in the pot. Just one more thing. Got the best thing in the world. Huh, the moon. There's nothing in the cage. They're all better. Is it all better, Ashley? Is this what you truly want, huh? But it's all with nothing in it. In a more ev evening. Are you giving me choice of what to put in the medicine? Got knife. Got flower. Place down the knife. It's locked. Remove knife. Flower. Why is that even a choice then? Sunshine Heart Finally, you monster What? Broken heart Once upon a lousy life The end Sunshine Broken heart. Heart. What do you mean there's other path? What? It seems like a high, it seems like a highly questionable idea to get through. Oh, 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 oh! I see. What is this about? <laughs> yeah, it's very questionable. <laughs> Broken heart. Spiral of death and doom and destruction, isn't it? Alright then. I know I'm about. Classmates. 
parents. Gotta keep siblings. Friends. Cat current plushie. What do you want me to do with the grand plushie? Ah, friends. Soulmates. So soulmates. Friends, soulmates. Family. Any for your folks? No deal. Come on, give me one word. Mortifying. <laughs> Fucking hell. Huh? Doesn't seem like it a minute ago. So you think you meant to say gratifying? Big words don't fit in your mouth. Yeah, something else fit in just fine earlier. Oh, okay. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, so mortifying are you? You know I'm easy to strike. Some guilty conscience you've got. Better than yours. Come here, you. Wait, gently, gently, god damn it. <laughs> wow. Efficient ends without you dying. Silas, there's that, do you suppose? Oh! You want to defend your side too. So it was a fucking dream? Huh. And it's a highly questionable road. Interesting. Mayhaps. Oh shit, you're awake. Well, hello to you two. Oh uh, yeah, good morning or evening, I guess, whatever. Wait, so hey, did you get a vision? Probably not. Really, do you see dreams like that a lot then? I don't. Aha, uh -huh, so you did see it. Cut a vision, huh, big brother? That was not a vision. The demon is messing with us. Yeah, that's it, that's just it. It's because we tried to be cheap and got the vision for the price of one. So it gave us a fake vision instead. That, that's the only explanation that makes sense. Oh, please. I mean, it is your trinket. Clearly, you were right and I wasn't supposed to use it. Sure, sure, keep selling it. I'm totally buying. Screw you. Yeah, you just might. <laughs> Fuck off, do you honestly think that? Huh? I don't know, you tell me. Listen, here you. Fucking spare me, I didn't want to hear it. You tell me this secret our parents' corpse here, yet getting late is what you're freaking out about. Yeah. <laughs> y yeah. No one got laid. And you keep telling me I messed that budget joke. I, I also love how the game tells us, hey, yeah, this is, uh, this is, this is fucked up. This is highly questionable. You, you, you chop your parents? Yeah. You, you eat your parents up. You kill people. Mur you murder people all the time. You chop people all the time. You eat trick people, anything like that, that's fine. This one, highly questionable. I love how the game tells tell us that as well. We are not like that, are we? I know. You two fucked up creatures. You just come off that way sometimes. Huh? How so? A tad jealous. Oh dear, what's that? Wishful thinking. Tell that to my ex. Let's not pretend you don't have a bit of a jealous trick yourself. Now that's wishful thinking. Bad chance, get over yourself. Scythe. I don't think I need to ask you this, but let me anyway. It's never gonna come to that, right? You and me. <laughs> Why never say never? N never. Actually, I'm morbidly curious about that. You know what? Fuck it. Never, never say never and do my dear. Oh my fucking god. Huh? It's not funny. Don't joke about this. Why am I getting your hopes up? Or maybe something else? <laughs> say, did that vision get you? I'm out of here. Why is this such a massive issue to you? We've done way worse thing together. I'm gonna kill myself now. And it's figured it will happen eventually. Really? Why, 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 why are you like this? Why would you say this? Why would you think this? I, wow, what a line mine, huh? Well, yeah. Ah, oh, forget this, forget this whole thing. Fine, but that was clearly efficient, so it will probably come up sooner or later. No! Well, you're not efficient, a guy's little throat, yet here we are. So let's just leave it at that. Alright then, if you say so. Under the elephant under the rack and cause a day. 
Anyway, let's go throw the mom and dad in the ocean, yeah? What the fuck? <laughs> I'm fucking dying. Wait, why do you give me fish and that? Do I need that fish and? I, I give you soul and you give me a shitty fish and. To boot. Thanks for nothing, I guess. Well, uh, alright. Oh. Ooh, oh, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. I hate you. The sound of all is a bit back rib and sound. I don't care, hurry out and pick them up. No one saw it? Thank god no one is here in Sour. Are there really no one here in Sour? One room. I guess I don't stay too far in the light. Just in case someone does pass by. Oh. Oh, yeah. Let's go to the light. Let there be light. Woo! 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 I'm pretty sure it's this one because it has. Yeah. And you're back with the bones. And rock and ocean. Since my back broke, how do we make this sh sure the skull sink? That'll probably be fine. Well, in any case, better get to know further than you. <laughs> Bet you can't. That's your parents' school. Oh, yeah? Definitely. On the count of three. One, two. So, blah. <laughs> What's that? Looks like I won. Felt the shit. Nope, you never said pushing wasn't allowed. Oh yeah? Well, here's your fucking price, I guess. It's a face to the face. Ciao, hug. Why, thank you, thank you. Ah! Haha. <laughs> You're a little different lately. Oh, uh, am I not fun anymore? I'm more like, let me think. How have you been stopping lately? Are you actually looking for a fight? I'm not talking about that. I mean, just in general. Your insomnia and nightmares, how are those? Uh... It's been decent, all things considered. Yeah. Unexpectedly, you seems to be doing just fine. Well, then be happy for me or anything. Ah, Andy's all grown and doesn't need me anymore. Andy's dead. I don't think he needs anything. Even so, there's a trinket. There's a trinket too. You're apparently the only one allowed to use that, so there's that. Uh, give me a moment to take a break, boot. Here be. Okay, I'm just checking my storage, which is only a little amount left. Fuck. You're apparently the only one allowed to use it, so there's that. I don't know about that, but certainly show me only one me one way to keep it around. I suppose. Right, I'm honestly pissed we don't know what's coming next. It's really hard to plan what to do now. Alright, so what do we do? The money has bought us sometime, but we still need to find ourselves new identities. Do we really so? Can we just live in a car and muck random people who are leaving? That's just not going to work very long. Every time we try our luck, we're more likely to get coughed. Then can we buy fake identities? I know people do that sometimes. Find me the guy who sells them and I'll get right in that. And that cultist club seems to like a really sketchy spot. Maybe someone there knows who's someone who sells them. Probably not though. Stop being such a defeatist, let's go take a little look-see. It's a great idea to go anywhere near where we killed that guy. Also that model was the only one letting us stay with cash only. Fine, but we're leaving the car in some random parking lot. Since there's definitely an ongoing investigation for that hitsman there. Right, cool, whatever, let's get it going. I had a mole here? That's not a mole, is it? Are you coming or what? In a minute, let me finish this. Waste of time and money. Wait, waste of time and money, I love it. Aha, uh -huh, glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. And of episode 2. Wanna save the game? Yeah. Sure. You can continue here once episode 3 burial has been updated. Well, 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 that's interesting. Very interesting. Uh, yeah. <laughs> wow, chapter 2 is fucking long. Holy shit. Maybe I should split chapter 3 into two parts later on. If it is this long as well, because I cannot afford to record this long, actually. Usually. Uh, okay, so let me review the game. It's, uh... Yeah. I feel like it's a, you could say, parody of a... Parody of a dark, gritty, if that's the word, gritty, twisted world, which is uh, a usual thing that Namlay developed, which I love, 
a lot because it's, it's just something new like better half that's my favorite one to remember there's also candy scabs which is terrifying as well <laughs> in a sense <laughs> it's, a, it's a thing to see um this game how to say it i love it all the i love that the more we played at, at first we were like whoa they were surely fucked up but the more we play it the more we see that everyone is fucked up and this is just how the world in there seems to be and well, no one's, no one is good in the in that world, and everyone is just deserved to fucking die. Like, there's no salvation, there's no hope. Everything is just trapped in this, this giant coffin of endless despair, endless deprivation, and endless what do you call it? Death, I guess. Which is interesting. I want to see how this ends, especially. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Honestly. I know a lot of people criticized it about like, oh, this game content incest, but I honestly don't feel like it's just a part of the world build up because the world is already so dark already with all this thing. I honestly didn't expect it. Like, oh, okay, uh, everything else will be light and the incest all will be like the super highlight here from all the girls I see. And but no. It's not. Uh, literally, like, all we fucking did all the time is fucking cannibals and murder and stuff like that, and the incest is just like a pass-by thing, which is like... Hmm. Alright. Which, I, I feel like it's... It's just... It feels like just a casual dark writing, honestly. Which I've read a lot in manga. And stuff like that. And maybe like, uh... What do you call it? A more... Darker, mature audience novels. Which, eh, fine, this is... All I can say is, this is messy. In an interesting way. Uh, what else could I say? Honestly, good job from Nemlay once again. I really love the game. Actually, there's one audio, uh, one music that I can notice. I think, uh, where does all the music come from? Actually, I'm interested. Uh, let's see, credits. Yes. Okay, so it came from a pack because I heard a uh, music that has the sound of this uh, Southeast Asian-ish music that I think my friends know because I heard it once and I was like, oh, okay, I'm going to confirm this with my friend and uh, I, I texted them to them in one of the break uh, during this recording and of course they said yes, it does sound like that, which is, wow, okay, interesting to know. But yeah. I love to see where this burial, all this death goes, like, where does this coffin will go? Where this will end? How did you two will die? I am really interested to see that. So I guess that's all for the coffin of Andy and Lily, episode 2. And for the whole game for now, because episode 3 is still not out, I hope you enjoy it. We, I might try to explore more things, like the other sec uh, secret stuff, endings here. A little bit, but I guess that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed. See you later then in my next video then. Bye bye.